four, three, two, one. Good morning, everybody. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Jim Weller here, and we are live, live. I mean, we're talking really, literally live right here for you. I have heard this saying all my life, the show must go on. And I never thought about it when you're in public service, you know, like providing information, news, weather, sports, and uh, stock tips. Uh, I realized the show always must go on. So where are we? We are live at the Laurel Junction. <coughs> Don't come out. Don't come out, all right? I won't tell you how many people did or didn't sleep here overnight to make sure we were here on time, but I'm just letting you know that we're going to be with you till 9 o'clock this morning. We're going to talk to Colin Walls, I think. I don't know if it's going to be him or Hunter or who it's going to be, but anyway, we're going to chit-chat a little bit and talk about TV Del Marva. TV Del Marva, my goodness, the crowd is just growing by the minute. And um, so uh, we're here. I got plenty of keychains. I got some giveaways. But we are not, we are not encouraging you to come to Laurel Junction. So I want to let you know TV Del Marva. People say to me, how do you get TV Del Marva? Well, hopefully you're watching on TV Del Marva right now. And we'd like to ask a favor of you. If you would this week share about TV Del Marva with just one of your friends. Just one of your friends. Tell them about TV Del Marva. Tell them what you like about it. Tell them how to get it. We're trying to get people to help people. So we need your help growing TV Del Marva. Just one yeah. person. That's all we ask this week. Okay? Yep. All right. Hey, good morning, Colin's Jim. Here. Good snowy morning to good you. Good snowy morning. Yes, it is. And uh, So uh, stay up with TV Del Marva all day. We'll be keeping you updated on road conditions, right. conditions outside. Things like that. Um, we're doing live videos on TV Del Marva Facebook page. I did have a lady uh, on there say she was uh, somebody appointed her, I think, uh, as being in charge of everybody that's on the road and finding out oh, if really? they had their papers, correct papers, and things okay. like that. So well, I just wanted to answer. She said, "Why are you on the road? Are you essential? And how fast are you going?" Really? Yeah. So uh, I don't remember how fast I was going at the time she well, was watching. That's travel at a safe speed. Exactly. I was traveling at a speed appropriate. I made it here safely. Right. So it was obviously appropriate for and the no conditions. no animals were harmed. I didn't run anybody off the road or anything, right? And the other was, are you essential? Yes. Uh, TV Del Marva is essential. We are required by the FCC to remain on the air. Okay. And we have to operate in the public interest. And it's absolutely in the public interest for us to let them know about There's, road conditions. Right, road conditions. Weather conditions and other things Power like that. Power outages. Yeah, so, that, I know, mean, so. and this show, this show is an essential show. We are, this is in the public's interest that we're here. We're Doing talking this. about road conditions. Hunter's going to be on uh, in a little bit to talk about yeah. weather conditions. So, yes, we are essential. And I, Jim, you were questioning it yourself. Right. You know, wondering. And I said, Jim, this is, this is essential. You know, and I don't, I don't, it's not to say us in particular are essential. Are essential. This service that we're providing is an to essential service to the public. Yes, absolutely. So right. um, we might even play some of my video, you know, from earlier on. We get a little bit of time. So okay. Uh, anyway, I'm that's it. Sure. TV Doe, this is from James's Room. Is calling James's room, but they're not is coming calling. here. You open it up. Uh... All right. Oh, you got me. your screensaver on. You've signed out. Don't go anywhere. What in the world has happened here? Who is James's room? It's Susan Kent. Oh. All right. Oh, okay. she called a room. I wonder what that is. It's a different thing where you can get a bunch of people in there on it, but there oh, it is. Really? It worked. Now, where's that other little button? Right it's there. It's not that not one. That no. One. Hold on, Susan. Where is it, Colin? Go to her video. Like, go down a little bit. Here? Yeah. To the left. I don't see it. Click the full screen up there first. Okay, I'll do this. We, we got you. Don't go nowhere. Nope. That was the minimize. Great. Now Where is it? Down there on the bottom. Right here. Where, Colin? Down on the bottom. See the little chrome thing highlighted? Hover over the chrome thing that's highlighted. There you go. Hover there. There you go. Now go to the right. No, nope, don't click on it. <laughs> This is a segment to there itself. There you go. Now click on it. Click. All right. Now click the full screen. See the square? Click the square. All right. And that might be as good as we can get it here, Colin. Okay. Hold up so. a little bit, Susan. <laughs> Hold up a little bit. Okay. All right. Um, that was pretty good for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was fantastic. <laughs> Nobody can see it, right? Except us. <laughs> no, we're not on okay. TV. We're not on radio. We're not okay. on a bunch of different Facebook pages or anything. No, all right. uh, not at all. <laughs> are we or aren't we? 
We are. We are. Okay. All right. All right. You can see all that, Jim. Sorry. For real? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> All right, well, my skill You're, level shows up when I do anything. It was shining through for sure. All right, <laughs> All right. Hunter will be back in a bit to talk yeah, weather. Yep. All right, so uh, we'll talk to Hunter in a few minutes. Yes, you're right. We're coming on the radio. We're coming on the radio. Do we have the collage or don't worry about the collage? All right, let's play it anyway. But anyway, good morning, good morning, everybody. Jim Weller here, and we are live. We're alive. We're sitting here. Um, and it's amazing. So I want to just let you know that we are at Laurel Junction. We are not. We are not encouraging you to come to Laurel Junction. All right. Let's play the collage real quick. So uh, to my radio audience, Dan Gaffney, Lawrence, thank you for, uh, I don't know if you spent the night there or how you got there or what happened, but thank you for um, doing your essential part. That's what we're learning, that uh, we're all essential in some way. So uh, the news, the media, and so on um, is out and about. So... We ready with the collage? Here's the collage. This week on Weather Does Del Marva, Susan Kent from Better Homes of Seaford stops by. Mike Sando of Weller's Utility Trailers brings us up to speed. Alicia Hollis from Kent Sussex Industries drops in. Roger Whitford chats about the 9-11 memorial for his son. TV Del Marva's Colin Walls of Walls Service Center checks in. We are live from the Laurel Junction and Chef Fred's Cafe in Laurel, Delaware. And now, here's your host, Jim Weller. All righty, so that's a whole lot of what's not going to be on the show today, okay? Susan Kent's going to join us. Mike, I think, is going to join us. And um, But all the other people are not going to be here today, okay? But we got some great guests that we're going to bring on. And the very first one is the one and only... Susan Kent from Seaford, Delaware. Susan, are you there? I am, Jim. Can you hear me okay? Yes, and um, awesome. thank you. Good to see you. What do you think of this? Did Who? You did, Go ahead. Did you drive in on this blizzard day? I'm going to say yes, I did. I did a great Facebook Live. You can watch that later, okay? So um, we have learned, Colin and I, it's all about public service. We're trying to make sure people know what's going on. So the roads are horrible. Del Dot has done a fantastic job, but I would encourage you to stay home and relax, okay? All right. Absolutely. Do you have Absolutely. animals? Do you have any animals? Yeah, I, my dog just barked just, just now, right in the background. So. Really? Okay, <laughs> I missed it. Can you get him to do it again? No, I've, I've tried to make that not happen during the next five minutes. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so good morning, and uh, tell us who you are and what you're involved in and what do you want us to know? Sure, Jim. Um, I'm Susan Kent, and um, I'm the director of Better Homes of Seaford, and um, and then I'm in this position new. It's a 50-year-old uh, nonprofit that was started in Seaford, Delaware, but a lot of people recognize my name um, from Love, Inc. of Delmarva. I was the director there for the last 11 years, so wow. I made it a, a huge um, shift um, this past September. And um, I'm now doing affordable housing um, specifically for the elderly community. Oh, what a, and I'm what really a, excited to be doing that. I, I bet that's very rewarding, in other words. You know, in other words, you're dealing with people at a season in life where they need somebody to give them a hand, you know, and uh, help uh, them out absolutely. and guide them. It was really cool when um, I took um, the position and recognized um, on the residents list some of the folks that had participated in the Code Purple Shelters, which... I think, you know, as you know, on a night, a day like today, we're so oh, thankful yeah. that Nikki Gonzalez has been out there <laughs> and all the faithful volunteers and, um, you know, really working hard to make sure people are sheltered. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, housing was the next step. You know, what's what, what could be better than sheltering someone, giving them permanent housing? And and that's what Better Homes of Seaford has done um, and done well for, you know, over 50 years. I, I came in. Um, and um, and really, everything's been kind of set up for me to rock and roll. We're working on a pr project. Um, we'll, we'll be able to provide 36 units um, to elderly um, people who um, it would be based on their income. And, okay. and they would be able to come in and live in a um, safe and nice community. And so. so are these brand new being built now or is it already up and exists or? Right. So we have a campus and for um, around the last 26 years, um, Better Homes of Seaford has shifted um, from family housing to focus on the uh, elderly and they've created, um, you know, 
housing like a campus and so you know there's walkways and it's all kind of connected um and it's multiple it started you know there's hampton circle is um the um one of the most recent ones and uh herring bridge was just closed um the closing that means it opened okay <laughs> we fi finished that project actually technically this past fall um and uh williamsburg manor and yorktown woods and charleston place all of these um all of these housing um developments for the elderly are all in situated in one area and it's like a little community so wow and this is in the seaford area it is. Yeah. Okay. Better Homes of Seaford. Yeah. All right. Now, is this an organization where somebody, do you have any needs for people to get involved? What if somebody wanted to donate? What if somebody had a family member that might be able to benefit from this? What? Where can they learn more? Um, we have a really nice website, betterhomesofseaford.org. And I would say reach out to me. Um, at, at And it's a real simple um, email. It's director at betterhomesofseaford.org. So, you just if you can just remember, I'm the director, and at BetterHomesOfSeaford.org, you can um, reach me. Okay. And yeah, there's there, there's um, quite a few ways um, to get involved. Uh, we have a wonderful management co company called East Coast Property Management, and we like to make sure that we're offering wraparound services. So we work really closely with them and um, other nonprofits in the area to make sure that the um, the, the people that live on our campus have um, services and we um, wow. love that the Meals on Wheels come and um, First State Community Action comes and offers services as well. So we, we have a, um, a lot of different activities. So I would say reach out to, to me and I can get you connected on how to get involved. Okay. Director at, what was it called one more time? Betterhomesofseaford.org. Betterhomesofseaford.org. And um, so if they want to get involved or if they uh, know somebody that needs you know, maybe a place to live or something like that, whatever, you know, just um, go from there, right? That's right. That's right. right. So what are you doing today? Are you working, well, not working? I, I was going to get dressed up for you and put my snow clothes on. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, and then, you know, walk around Seaford and show you what the conditions were and, you know. <laughs> and then you just didn't feel like it. I, I I just didn't think I could pull it off, Jim. But I'll probably cook some chili, maybe make some cookies. Definitely. Okay. Um, I still right. have one... Uh, one in the house, you know, 13 year old. So he's going to want to get um, fed probably geared up here any minute. So. All right. Well, good. All right. Well, then I appreciate you doing this. This was different for us today. So thank you very much. And that's director at Better Homes of Seaford, correct? Yes. Dot org. Dot org. All right. Dot organization, right? Yes. <laughs> all right. Well, Susan, thanks for all your help. You're a great person, a good public servant. Every corner I turn, whatever you do, you're doing it for other people. And that's just a nice, nice thing. You're in the people business. So thank you. I appreciate that. All right. See Great you later. See you. Peace. Safe. Peace out. Bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. All right. What do I do, guys? Just click out. All right. So I'm going to leave. I'm learning technology. I noticed a good friend of mine is having a birthday today. Scott. Fitzgerald's birthday. Scott Fitzgerald, happy birthday, young man. So if anybody knows Scott Fitzgerald, give him a call and wish him a happy, happy birthday. Scott Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald's salvage and recycling, a good supporter of uh, TV Delmarva and a good friend of the community and just an all-around good guy. Hunter, if you want to make your way over or we can wait a little while, either one, Hunter is going to join me just a little bit. He is the smartest person I know when it comes to weather, okay? And uh, whether or not you want to hear what he has to say, you're going to hear what he has to say because he's going to tell us. So, Hunter, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. Good. A little all snowy. Right. You been up all night? <laughs> a little bit, basically. A little bit. All yeah. right. I've been up pretty much this entire week. <laughs> okay. This is your Super Bowl. Yeah, this is the Super Bowl. This Super is the, Bowl. This for... is the main event here. All right. So... What are you thinking? So we've got some significant snowfall. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. And people can watch you on TV Delmarva. And uh, you, uh, you, how often are you on TV Delmarva? Like every day, twice a day? Every day. Every, every single day. day. All right. Seven days a week? Seven days a week. Seven days a week. You're very committed to this. Oh, yeah. You're passionate about it. So weather. What do we need to know about the weather? How can we be more prepared and stay safe? Well, for one thing, the, one of the main things to do is just if you don't have to go out on the roads for anything, unless it's an absolute emergency, 
don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't you don't do want it. to put yourself at risk. You want to put your family at risk, and especially the risk of the emergency crews out there trying to at least get the roads somewhat passable. And you're stuck in a ditch and in the way. Yeah, and then okay. it becomes an issue, too, that blizzards like this can be life-threatening, absolutely. Yeah. And we would call this a blizzard because if you look out the window, you can yeah. hardly see. Yeah, it's okay. definitely, especially near the coastal areas, the coastal Sussex County and Worcester counties are really getting hit by this very hard. There was a report yeah. about an hour ago just out of Lewis, winds were gusting at 66 miles per hour. Wow, so we're going to have some drifts. Yeah, already yes. at my house in Lewis, I've got two to uh, three foot drifts right now. Really? With what are you riding in? Listen. What are you riding in? <laughs> and the Mitsubishi Outlander. Really? A mm -hmm. Mitsubishi Outlander, Mitsubishi, whatever the word is. <laughs> okay. All right, well, what else do we need to know? How often are you going to update us throughout the day? I'm going to be constantly updating throughout the day. We're still not going to be done with the snow yet. we still got several hours worth of this snow. Really? And most locations, probably anywhere from here to on eastward, is going to be getting a foot plus easy. A foot plus, wow. And right along the Atlantic coast from Lewis to Ocean City, you have a good shot of getting upwards to 18 inches before yeah, this is all done damn. today. All right. So stay tuned to TV Delmarva, Channel 14, mm -hmm. and uh, Hunter will keep us informed. Will do. All right. Well, thank you very much, okay? Anytime. Just be right, careful out there, everyone. Be careful, everybody. Heed the warning. Okay, let's talk real quick. This is a funny commercial here. Insurance. Okay, so l and Insurance Agency, I'm sure on Monday, will be busy. Uh, they are my insurance company. They sponsor the show, have been involved for years, and I love dealing with them. So if you need insurance, um, if you... Uh, have a claim. What I love about L and W, if you have a claim, they get very involved. They don't get scarce, uh, and they help you out. They help you through the process. You know, anybody can sell you insurance. It's when you need them. What kind of service and what kind of job do they do? So I like L and W. You will like them, whether it's for residential insurance or you know automobile insurance or commercial insurance, liability insurance, whatever you may need. Just give them a call. Tell them what you got. They'll take a look at the policies you have. They'll give you their advice, their opinion. They might have something to offer. They might not. They might have a better price. So, you know, but the one thing I like above all of it is the level of service that they offer me. So it's l and Insurance Agency. On the web, it's lwinsurance.com. Like them on Facebook. They're very active there. They got, you know, different infomercials coming out throughout the week. They'll have one of their people that work there come on and explain what they do at l and because it's 40-plus uh, people work there, and uh, they do a good job job for me. So I've been very happy. I bought a new car yesterday and uh, needed an insurance card and I kind of needed it right away and I got it within minutes and uh, it was just really, really nice to deal with them. So it's l and Insurance Agency. Again, you don't have to have a business. They'll sell you commercial or they'll sell you residential. If you're a renter, you can just get renter's insurance, whatever you may need. So how do you reach them? Dial them on the phone. 302-856-7828. That's 302 302- 856-7828-LWinsurance.com. And like I said, please, please, please like them on Facebook. They're very active there. Now, have I got time to call somebody? Um, let's, let's try Dave Wilson real quick. I want to know if Wilson's auction is going to be open. So if you give him a call, he's right up top there. Dave Wilson, if you're listening or anybody knows Dave, let him know. We're getting ready to call Dave Wilson. I want to know, is Wilson's auction going to be open today? All right. So this is my senator, Senator Dave Wilson. This is also a sponsor of the show, been involved with the show from the very get-go, and his name is Dave Wilson. We're going we're gonna to call, and um, is it not working? Hold on. No problem. Take your time. I'm going to move on and just brag on Vanderwins in a minute. But we're going to try to get Jesse Vanderwin on, too, here at some point. You might have to use that dial pad. So maybe um, we'll do that. So Dave Wilson is going to be joining us in just a little bit. We'll go from there with him. Um, Blue Hen Fuel is another good sponsor, supporter of the show. Oh, you got it dialing? All right, here we go. We're going to have one ringy dingy. Is he there? Oh, it's ringing. So we're calling Dave Wilson. I hope we don't wake him up, okay? Um, we're going to see how this works. He does not know that we're calling. Dave? Oh, it's still ringing. Did you notice how slow those rings were? They must be frozen. All right. All right. Dave, are you there? You are called. Oh, he's not there. Okay. All right. No, no voicemail. All right. 
So we're going to try Dave Wilson in a little bit, all right? He's probably out plowing snow knowing him. So let's talk about another good supporter of the show, which is Blue Hen Fuel. And this is the time. A day like today is where you, you want to be dealing with a good fuel company, whether you need um, propane, whether you need uh, kerosene, whether you need um, gasoline, whether you need heating fuel, uh, diesel, whatever. Blue Hen Fuel was a local-owned company in Lincoln, Delaware. It started by uh, Charles Harding, and uh, his nephew, C.P. King, is now running the company. And uh, they've been in business over 40 years, serving their community. They're big enough to serve you, but they are small enough to know you. And that's so important nowadays. You ever dealt somewhere, and you call up, and you say, hey, this is Jim Weller, and they're like, who, what, what's your account number? Blue Hen Fuel knows their customers. Uh, so if you need anything, like maybe you need propane for your kitchen stove, or maybe you need it to heat with or anything like that. Or maybe you need, um, I have like a gasoline tank where I, you know, could fill my vehicles with gasoline. I get my gasoline there. I also get diesel fuel. I use diesel fuel for our tractors and our forklifts. So it's called off-road diesel. So we get that. But they have all kinds of things. I have a couple houses that have heating oil. And so I like dealing with Blue Hen Fuel because they're a small company. They're a local company. Company. I have some people that I know that deal with them and say, you know, Jim, I can't afford hundreds of gallons at one time. I just maybe need a smaller delivery. They'll work with you any way they can. So again, it's Blue Hen Fuel. If you've never dealt with them, give them a call, talk to them, see what services they offer, check their prices. In other words, see what they would charge you. I like dealing with them. Friendly, knowledgeable, Blue Hen Fuel, Lincoln, Delaware. And uh, he said, tell them, to mention they want the Jim Weller special. So I don't even know what the Jim Weller special would be, but I just want to let you know that if you bring that up, there'll probably be some kind of special that they give you that you heard it on Weller Does Dale Marva. So how do you reach Blue Hen Fuel? Dial them on the phone, 302-424-4328. That's 424-4328. It's really 424-HEAT is what it is, okay? They are on the web at bluehenfuel.com, and they are also on the Facebook. So uh, Blue Hen Fuel, anything you need from propane to gasoline to heating fuel to kerosene to diesel. If you want some good local hometown service, they're located in Lincoln, and they'll do a good job for you. Tell them I sent you, all right? Now, what are we going to do next? I'll tell you what I'd like to do next. I want to talk one more about one more of my sponsor segments. We're going to have Mike Sando or Chuck Creighton on. I'm not sure which. Somebody from Wellers is going to join us after 730. Now, Jerry Santoro is another person that's been very active with the show and supported it over the years. And uh, he owns Jerry's Lawn Care. And you hear me talk about him each and every week. And it's the time of year people are probably thinking, who am I going to deal with on my landscaping needs next year? Well, Jerry Santoro is open for new customers. I want to let you know that. Another thing I want to tell you about Jerry is he does lot clearing. So if you have a building lot that you need cleared, or if you happen to um, need any tree work, you got a tree that's leaning or the limbs have broken and you're scared they're going to fall on something, he can take that tree down, he can trim that tree up, he can grind up the stump, he can dig up the stump, whatever you want done, he can do. Any grading, any seeding, anything like that. Also, this time of year, people are buying firewood. You don't know where to buy firewood. You want to get some where it's seasoned and it's hardwood. You want to deal with somebody that really does have firewood. He's got firewood. So it's called Jerry's Lawn Care. And then when the summertime comes and you need mulch, he's got the best deal around on mulch, $15 a yard. So it's Jerry Santoro, Jerry's Lawn Care, okay? 302-363. 6025. That's 302 363 6025 JLC dash LLC.com on the web. Now, you're watching and listening to a show, and you're saying to yourself, What is this show? It's called Weller Does Del Marv. It's like a public service announcement that just doesn't stop. So we're here with you till nine o'clock this morning. We're live on TV Del Marva. We're live on Facebook. We're live on YouTube. We're live on the radio, Delaware 1059. So, you know, uh, whatever we did, I did posted a video earlier um, on my page. So uh, if you want to see what the roads look like as I was coming in, I did a Facebook live. You could check that out at James Weller's Facebook page. If you'd like to be my friend, send me a friend request. And uh, I want to let you know, Weller's Utility Trailers will Will not be open today, okay? Uh, we're closed today. We're closed on Sundays and Mondays anyway, and hopefully we'll be back in there on Tuesday. I want to try to, I got a lot, whole list of people I want to call on the phone, um, but I don't know when to do it. So I'm going to 
wait just a couple minutes. We had reached out to Dave Wilson a minute ago. We'll try Dave Wilson again. I do have a big storage building for rent in Lincoln that I'd like to tell you about. It's about 20 foot wide, 40 foot long, and it's real tall. It's tall enough for a motorhome or a travel trailer. If you need some good, dry, safe, secure storage, it's right behind Stokely Materials. So I have a house there and a house trailer, and right behind it's this great big building. So if you're a contractor and you need a place to store some stuff, if you have a camper or a motorhome you want to put in there or a real nice boat or a pontoon boat or whatever, um, let me know. I've got it for rent. Like I say, it's safe, it's secure, it's easily accessible, um, and it's not for a business. I can't rent it to you and you work on cars there or, you know, do an activity. It's strictly for if you want to use it as storage, okay? So if you have an interest in that building, give me a call at 302-542-9157. Dial it in that order, folks, 542-9157, and uh, we could talk about that building for rent. So after 730, we're going to be talking to either Mike Sando or Chuck Creighton um, a little bit about wellers and trailers and things like that. Then we're going to start reaching out to some people. We're going to try to get a hold of Dave Wilson. We're going to try to get a hold of Jesse Vanderwin. Uh, we're going to reach out to uh, maybe Lewis Briggs, the uh, public service uh, director for the town uh, or city or complex of, I don't know if it's a complex, a commune, a town or a city, Cokesbury, okay? Uh, that's where they refuel all the uh, nuclear submarines. And there's a lot going on there, okay? They have the inflatable toll booth that they've been known to put up in the summertime, and sometimes they forgot to put it up. But anyway, we might talk to Lewis Briggs a little bit. Um, I'm also going to reach out to Sheriff Mike Lewis. We're going to have a word with him. So we got a lot going on. So we want you to stay with us. Uh, we're going to take some phone calls right now. Right now. Is there anybody that would like two gift cards to Vanderwins? All right? If you want them, call me now, okay? I'm going to just do this real quick. Two Vanderwins gift cards. If you've won in the past couple weeks, don't call. Give somebody else a chance to get through. We've only got one phone line. The biggest complaint I have is people say, I called and it was busy. I called and it was busy. So just if you won in a couple weeks, the past couple weeks, give it a break. Come back in a couple weeks. But in the meantime, if you want two gift cards to Vanderwins, you got to pick them up at Weller's in Bridgeville next week. Call me right now, 302 422 7336 302-422-7336. We give these away every week. People love them. They come in the store. They get them. They browse around, and they get a chance to meet my folks at Weller's in Bridgeville. People say, why are you doing this, Jim? Why are you getting gift cards to give out to just get people in the store? Because I want to meet you. We like people to come in our store, pick up the gift cards, spend a few minutes looking around. We don't want you to just walk in and walk out. You know, we're, we're buying these gift cards to give them to you, so we naturally want you to spend a little time with us. Two gift cards to Vanderwins. Call me now, 422-7336, 422-7336. You see me picking up my phone because I want to make sure the phones are working. I never thought about that. 422-7336, okay? Um, it is ringing. Now I'm sensing why the phone's not working. I'm just getting a beep, beep, beep. Huh. It's it's disconnected for sure, right? Going to try it one more time. So I might be having tons of callers. I unforwarded it. It went straight to a voicemail. It's off the hook here somehow. Maybe. All right. Push that yellow button. See if you get a dial tone. Where it says speaker. Just see if you get one. All right, we're taking a break from the radio. Switch over to TV Del Marva right now. Right now, right now, right now. I don't want you to miss nothing. All right. We're going to get these phones figured out. So, Hunter's coming on. Going to talk a little bit more with Hunter. Uh, we're going to reach out and get some people on the telephone. Do you got a dial tone when you push it? Okay, then I'm going to try you one more time. Just for the heck of it. Hunter, you start talking and I'll start listening. How's that? All righty. Well... I want to pull up the radar so I can show you guys on the TV side of what we're looking at currently. Uh, the snow is definitely not done just of yet. You can see there is something called the pivot. This is usually very normal when it comes to very strong cyclones like this. You'll have the snow coming, moving in from the north and west and then backing in. So we still got several hours worth of snow and I was looking at some of the guidance there. Still an additional two to five inches on top of what we've, we already have is going wow. to probably still be falling. It is really coming down out there, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, yeah. well, anyway, uh, 
What are you doing today? Going to be mainly be at the studio, hunker down, keeping an eye on things? Yep, just keeping an eye on things until it all passes. We should be, like, roughly about 1 to 2 o'clock this afternoon. We should be seeing the snow taper off and probably see a little bit of sunshine before nightfall. But okay. then the new problem emerges tonight with all this fresh snow here. Arctic air is going to rush in. There's going to be some very, very cold temperatures tonight. Icy roads. Icy roads. P -p -p Rock potential, solid snow. Potential frozen pipes. Yeah. Like we're talking single digits tonight. Probably. Really? Wow. Well, I appreciate you being involved. It's kind of fun to watch you uh, grow your career at TV Del Marva just each and every week. has got more and more viewers all the time. And you, you all are working as a team to just really provide some good, solid information. I mm -hmm. like that, you know. So uh, it's like a dream come true for you. Oh, absolutely. You know, and I love this. a good snowstorm like this, too. I yeah. know, like for a lot of people, it is, it is a nightmare, but something like this, I love it. And plus... Nothing like having a pre-blizzard a day before your 30th birthday. Right. Oh, your your birthday's tomorrow? Tomorrow, yes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's his birthday tomorrow. Guys, you want to sing happy birthday to him for me? <laughs> They're all saying no. No. I'm going to give you... I don't you, blame them. <laughs> I'm going to give you two gift cards to Vanderwins. Have you ever been to Vanderwins? I have been to Vanderwins, but it has been a while. Do you even like ice cream? I love ice cream, but all it right. doesn't like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? You got that, um, yeah, whatever? Yeah, I have the lactose issue. You want to hear but, something funny? But I, I still do it anyway. I do, too. I can drink milk sometimes, and it doesn't bother me at all. And I can drink <laughs> milk sometimes, and it bothers me. And my wife's like, why do you do that? Because the times it doesn't bother me, I like it, you know? The same with cheese, and a lot like if I had pizza or yep. had like a pasta or something like that. It just, some days is good, some days it's not very good. And it. when it's not good for me, it's always inconvenient. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, tell me this. How about Chick-fil-A? You ever been there? Oh, yes. I do love you Chick -fil -A. like chicken? I love <laughs> I like chicken. Yeah. I'm just checking with you. Unless if, there's a shortage of it, because I had a hard time trying to get some chicken just two nights ago. But you know, isn't it funny how Chick-fil-A's just got it going on? Mm -hmm. I mean, they never let us down, you know? I'm going to give you two gift cards to Chick-fil-A, too. Is that okay? That is perfectly okay. I want you to take your gal. What's your girlfriend's name? Noelle. Noelle. Okay, that's a yeah, cool name. She, she's sleeping right now. I have a daughter, Kimberly Noelle. In other words, so oh, Noel. Nice. So Noel was what you said, yep. right? Okay. Yeah, she was supposed to go into work today, but they closed. So Starbucks is where she yep. works. Okay. Yeah, she manages the Starbucks really? in uh, Ocean City. Well, she, Ocean she's City. a shift manager. She doesn't manage it, but she just told me a couple minutes ago that they she's closed for today. In. I was All like, right. good, because you weren't going anyway. <laughs> well, will you use these gift cards? Oh yes. Okay. Are you? You're on Facebook, right? Mm -hmm. Tag me in a picture if you would. All right. Will do. Now, something I've discovered about Chick Fil A, <laughs> it's a sauce called. Chick-fil-A sauce. Mm -hmm. I love it. I used to love honey mustard. It's like the little things in life that I finally learned at 63 years old about this uh, Chick-fil-A sauce. So anyway, uh, check that out. But the Polynesian sauce is where it's at, though. Is it really? Oh, yeah. Now, what makes you say such a thing? It's, it's too good. It's really? way too good. It's the cat's meow. It's the cat's meow, yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks a lot, okay? All right. All right. Dude, there I you go. That. Happy you birthday. Much, Is there a party? Like, should we be preparing to go somewhere tomorrow to a birthday well, I'm party? Hopefully, ho I'm hoping to get some hibachi tomorrow at Tokyo Steakhouse. So. Okay. What time and where? We'll be there. <laughs> I haven't got a time yet. I don't even know if, right. we can even, if they're even going to be open tomorrow. They'll too, be so, open for you. So hopefully. <laughs> Tell me where you want to go. I'll get them to open just for you. All right. See you later. All right. Now, we're, on, we're not on the radio just yet, so we'll be back. But to my TV Del Marva audience, I don't know what's wrong with the phone. I'm being told they're getting a busy signal. So I don't know what to do. It just irks me. Um, I wish I could fix it. So I'm going to give out another number. See, you got that. Who's calling me? Okay. All right. Well, hold on. Let me connect to these people. Is that all right? How is that happening? Weller's Utility Trailers. All right. So anyway, um, we're going to get connected with this. But for some strange reason, for some strange reason, up, oh, he's got his phone up and down. Does he need to do it the other way or it doesn't matter? Uh, Mike, can you hear me? Can you hang up and call me again and have your phone? Hold it. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. So just hold tight. Hold tight. And we'll be with you in a little bit. This is Mike Sando from Wellers in Bridgeville. He's probably quite pleased that this worked. Okay. So um, I'm going to keep on jibber jabbering until we come back on the radio and so on. But my phone line, I'm just going to try it real quick. 
Linda, I know that you said you called and it didn't work. And uh, we're going to work on it. We've got a whole technical team here. But, um, you know, it is funny. I am getting phone calls. Yep. So they're going to the voicemail. So I don't know why. That's the thing. Can you hit um, star 73? Okay. That's what it is. Yep. You're stepping on one with the cordless phone. All right, so anyway, we got a lot going on here today. We're sitting inside Laurel Junction, folks, and uh, we made it here. We made it here. It's not working? Not working? All right. All right. So I hear the music. We're coming back. We're live on the radio. So, folks, you're listening to Weller Does Del Marva. It's a weekly show, and it's here every Saturday morning, rain or shine. So we're here for you today. We're going to have a good time. We're going to try to make some phone calls. Um, and uh, we we do have somebody now. So let's, oh, the phone's working now. Thank you. So was that a phone call? That was me. Okay. It was a phone call, and it was him. All right, let's do Mike now. So, Mike, you made it through. I guess you're really happy about that. I am ecstatic. <laughs> he was very wondering, is this really going to work? But it did work, didn't it? All right, so what's going on with you? Well, just surviving snowmageddon. Snow Are you on the front porch? I am on a side porch. Side porch, okay. And how much snow did you did you get? It looks every bit of a foot. A foot, really? Well, what? Easily. Okay, all right. And so are you going out riding around today, or what are you doing today? No, so I'm staying warm inside the house with my pellet stove all right how is the pellet stove i love it you this love it my third one is it really I love it. good all right so wellers is closed today but we've had one heck of a week haven't we yes we have uh considering all the challenges with the weather uh just so happens we were closed the first day of the month and here we are the last day of the month and snow got us both days yeah we had a great month we really did that's amazing how how we've started the year so strong uh, the shed sales seem to be just not just rolling right along people are excited aren't aren't the shed people doing a really good job of meeting their delivery dates they're actually uh they just bumped it up so last week uh they were telling us it was four months for a custom now it's only three months really and they're delivering yeah and they're delivering on lot uh sheds in the three to four week range. So they're doing a great job, fantastic. And we have about 50 on the lot right now, about 35 of them are available. Really? So we've got 50 to look at, 35 for sale at Wellers in Bridgeville. All right, um, let me ask you about uh, swing sets. Do we still have any of those display models left? We have two out of the four. Okay, so we've sold some of them, but we got two. Aren't they like 40% off? Yes, 40% off. Okay, so off. huge savings there. And uh, what's the turnaround time on a new swing set? You order one from scratch, you come in, you spec it out. Are we looking at six, eight months? No, only about 10 to 12 weeks. Really? Wow, that's yes. a lot quicker than I thought. So we're really, I guess the companies we deal with have just figured out how to do it as efficient as they can do it. Um, yeah, until they get thrown a curveball, which you, you can't project. Right. Uh, you know, every once in a while, there's a ball thrown their way with some kind of supply chain issue. Uh, right. We could, you know, we and they just keep rolling, and they find other suppliers or right. That's, um, figure it out. That's what I'm hearing. In other words, no matter what the challenge, they're figuring out a way. And we are just steadily, 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 everything's getting better. Absolutely. Wow. Well, good Absolutely. job. Good job. So um, what else is going on? You know what? We never changed the voicemail. Did the voicemail get changed? I don't know. I don't I'll either. With Chuck I'm thinking I forgot that. So, all right. Um, well, what else? We, we, recorded. we have a new recording. We just have to switch it over. So okay. Chuck and I have the instructions all we do is call in and, and switch it over. But there is Wonderful. a new recording for climate weather. Good. All right. Well, good. I just wanted to make sure. I never thought to tell you guys. So um, I just didn't know if we did it. So other than that, we got plenty of trailers in stock. And um, anything else we need to know? 
trailer in stock is an understatement. I think we're over 600 or close, approaching 600. Really? Trailers. Yeah, I sold wow. one yesterday to a gentleman, and he just could not stop clamoring about how many trailers we have. Really? <laughs> he, like, he, what did he buy? He, he ended up buying a 5 by 10 Master Toe. Oh, excellent. excellent yeah, box tubing. Box tubing. We yeah, just, did we just. He's got an ATV, and uh, the 5 by 8 he has just a little too short. Yeah. So we looked at several 5 by 10s and 6 by 10s, and. He really didn't want to go six wide, so uh, that Master Toe five by ten is a well, well, extremely well built trailer. Excellent. It's all box tubing, right? Absolutely. All right. Well, I'm going to leave you if that's okay. Thank you for doing this, and uh, stay safe. And we'll see you Tuesday, hopefully. Okay. And a message to all your listeners and viewers: Please stay safe, stay off the roads. Let Dell Dot do their thing. Uh, as you mentioned earlier, they are doing a fantastic job. They're going by my house uh, probably every five, ten minutes, and um, they're doing a great job. So let let them do their job. Everyone stay safe out there and just enjoy the warmth of your home, and uh, we'll, we'll be out on the road again tomorrow or Monday. No question. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate you very much. Okay. okay. Thank you, Jim. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, everybody, I do need to try Dave Wilson one more time. So if we could, please, could you go ahead and dial him up? In the meantime, um, I hear Jeff Corman is ready to talk to me also. So Chick-fil-A, just want to remind you, you got plenty of Chick-fil-A locations. Uh, they're a supporter, supporter, sponsor of the show. We say thank you to Chick-fil-A. I'm sure most of them are closed today, uh, but they are a good local company. They're open six days a week, closed on Sunday, but I love their Chick-fil-A sauce, all right? I love their nuggets. I love their salads. I love their sandwiches. I love their sweet tea. Chick-fil-A is a great company. If you're looking for a good meal quick, not fast food, but good food quick, piping hot, Chick-fil-A is the way to go, okay? Check them out. They're all over, and some deliver, and some use DoorDash. Are we ringing, dinging? All right, we are calling Dave Wilson. We're trying to get him on the phone if we can. So uh, I don't hear the ringing. Is it ringing yet? Okay. Hello? Dave, it's Jim Weller. We're live. We're live on the radio and TV, all right? Okay. I just want to know, how are you today? I'm doing good, friend. Doing good. And um, are you out plowing snow, feeding horses, or what are you doing? Yeah, I'm a bird. Okay. I'm a bird. I've been, been plowing snow, and I'm also getting ready to go over and check on the animals over the other farm. But everything uh, is uh, still, still snowing here, and uh, there's, uh, I'm afraid this wind's going to create the drifts that we're going to be looking forward to. Right. So now you're, you're going to close for today. Wilson's auction is not going on today, right? Right. Right. Okay. I haven't. Uh, we finally made a decision last night when the governor said the state of emergency. I said, "What kind of crowd are you going to be able to uh, direct?" And I can see now that uh, you would only have a third of a crowd. So we've got a lot of work to do. We got to reset the sale for. We set up the furniture sale. Now we got to reset for auto auction on Tuesday. But we got two days to do it. But uh, wow. for Tuesday, I feel I could probably, and the roads was open, I could have probably uh, been able to. Right. To work, but, uh, can't do it with this kind of weather because I don't have time to get the parking lot cleared up and still still. And right now, uh, there's no place for people to park. And then the other thing, the safety thing, uh, people can't get around, slip and fall, and hurt themselves. And then we got another liability to deal with. So right. It's just it's easier sometimes to bite the bullet, and uh, Take. you're not gonna make money any time when you deal with Mother Nature on this kind of weather. Right. So that means next Saturday's auction will be twice as big. Well, yeah. We'd like to think it would, but we don't know what Mother Nature's going to do. She's right. Do double times now. <clears throat> Even last week, our show was way off because uh, a lot of people didn't bring things because it was threatening. And yeah. uh, it wasn't bad last week, but this week, there's no question that you know, uh, the roads are not passable. Uh, I'm on 113. And I can uh, see out here the snow piles been bought. There's no, there's not much mobility of anybody moving up down the highway on 113. That's the major route. Yeah, I think Dell Dot did a great job overnight. What's it look like to you? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. Well, I never came in. I think about 12:30, and uh, 
And I said, Joe, I doubt that. I mean, I think you've done a remarkable job. I don't know about any secondary routes, but the major routes, they've, uh, they've done it as, as well as could be expected, if not better. Yep, I agree. All right, well, Dave, I just wanted to say good morning, and um, you stay safe, and um, if you need me, holler, okay? Okay, thanks for calling me, Jim. Appreciate you, Dave. You do a great job for everybody. All right, see you, Dave. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. And Dave Wilson, he's my um, state senator, good friend, uh, good supporter of the show. Wilson's auction's going to, you know, take the day off, you know. And and what he was talking about, on Tuesday nights, they have an auto auction. So everything that they've got inside a certain part of that building all now has to be moved by Tuesday night at 6 o'clock because Tuesday night they're having an auto auction, and then they'll be back at it next Saturday with their regular auction. So Dave Wilson, everybody at Wilson's Auction, we appreciate you very much. Hey, guys, if we could, I'd like to get Jeff Corman next. Jeff Corman, I hope I put his phone number down. I did. Oh, we did? Jeff, if you can do that again, Jeff Corman, if you're out there, we will take a video call if you can do it. Um, so how do I tell him that? Hopefully he's listening. So uh, Jeff Corman, we are ready for you if you want to try again. Uh, we're going to talk to Jesse Vanderwin right after 8 o'clock. My granddaughter's birthday is tomorrow. Ashlyn Troyer, Ashlyn. Happy birthday, Ashlyn Troyer. She turns 19 years old tomorrow. Happy birthday, Ashlyn. All right, so I'm going to try to text Jeff real quick and just say, what do I say? We're ready, Jeff. Um, I got my phone with me. Um, video call me. Video. Gosh, I can't even spell right, guys. V E D O. I O. That's not how you spell video, is it? How do you spell it? Folks, this show is live, okay? Video call now. All right. I can't even spell now. Folks, I hate it when I have to do these things. Um, I'm not real sharp in that way. Hopefully, Jeff Corman will video in here in just a minute. Um, I'm going to try to teach Jesse Vanderwin how to do this also. All right. And uh, we go from there. Hey, Peninsula Chiropractic, you may need a, a chiropractor after you're done shoveling snow. Oh, here he is. All right, now why do I not see him? Um, not now. Just bear with me, everybody. I'm getting it, Colin. I'm getting it. This is all new for me. I'm getting there. We're going to talk to Jeff Corman. Um, does that look good enough, Colin? All right, I got it. Can you turn your camera the other way? There you go. Are you growing a beard? Or did you just not shave? Looks pretty good on you. How you doing? I'm doing good. What do you think of this little concept? I quit. Well, I've never done a video call like this before. So. Okay. Well, good. I'm glad that uh, this was your first one. So welcome. That's right. Welcome to Weller Does Delmarva. We are live. And... Um, what a uh, crazy morning, huh? How was the ride in? It was, uh, it was, it was okay. That Appel's Roads got me nervous. I hope they plow it before I get home. But uh, once I got on 36, it was good. Del Dot has done a fantastic, fantastic job. So um, they usually do. They do. And can you fly in the snow? No, uh, no. It's the landing that would get you, right? Be, be, be a little powdery. Little yeah. powdery. Okay. So what are you going to do today? You got a snowmobile around the house? We got a four wheeler and a sled. Okay. Well, that'll do it. Who drives the four wheeler? I do. You do? Okay. I do. Most of the time. All right. We're getting ready to have some scrapple and some eggs. Okay. And uh, what time is that again, just in case I want to make it? You better start moving fast. Molly's okay. getting ready to start cooking here. Because you're out in the country. I recently found your house. Yeah, we are. Okay. We are out in the country. Yep. Uh, so, so they'll do your roads in a day or two. Um, I'd say like Monday. Monday, okay. Now that uh, last snowstorm, it got us the next day. Okay. Well, so, good. 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 Let, good. Let, let me give you a, a view out the front door here. Okay. We'll do that. Here we go. Oh wow! <laughs> you got some drifts. You got some snow. Yep. All right. And what? What time is Molly going to do the sidewalk? I think Molly, as soon as she gets fit, finished the breakfast, she'll get out there and start shoveling. <laughs> you got a snowblower or just a good shovel? Uh, 
So we live next door to her parents, and they have a, a John Deere tractor with a blade on it. Oh, that'll get it done, right? Yep. And you just try to stay out of their way. They like doing it, huh? Yep. All right. But, well. uh, yeah, so I didn't. I quit shaving the last snowstorm. The, the story with this beard is <laughs> I'm supposed to, well, the family's supposed to be in the uh, Christmas program at Crossroads next year, and I'm going to be a shepherd with Jay Baxter. Really? And to do that, Jay said I have to have a beard. And I've never had a beard before, so I said, well, let me just see if I can grow one. Okay. I, I've achieved it. I actually, yeah. I have to ask, your face looks smaller. Have you lost weight? Yeah, I wish. Okay. <laughs> okay. I wish. It's just the beard then, I guess, is yeah. shrinking your face. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, tell everybody I said hi, yeah. and um, we're going to do lunch soon. You mentioned Woody's, is that right? I've never been there. I heard their crab cakes are really good, though. Okay. Well, we'll try to do it hopefully this week. Now that you've mentioned okay. it, I've been craving one ever since. Me too. All right. Me too. I'll right, see you. Take you. care. Be safe. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Okay, that's how we do it. I need to end that call. Um, that's how we do it. And I am hoping to get Jesse Vanderwin to be able to do this also. So um, Jeff Corman has set the bar for everybody now. So, all right. Well, with that said, um, I want to, what do I want to do next? I want to do a commercial for Dr. T real quick. Peninsula Chiropractic Center. I love dealing with them. Denise loves dealing with them. Jenny, the kids, the grandkids, my daughter, Kim, and everybody I know loves Dr. T, Dr. Bud. They get the kinks out. They do a good job. And if you need a chiropractor, I highly, highly, highly recommend Peninsula Chiropractic Service. And you need to think about this. If you're out shoveling snow and things like that, and you're moving and twisting and doing things you don't normally do, it might be worth getting an adjustment when you're done, okay? Uh, they accept most insurances. They also accept cash if you just want to self-pay. So whatever. If you need a chiropractor, you need to talk to Peninsula Chiropractic Service. Center, 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 center. All right. 302-629-4344. 629-4344. That's how you get a hold of them. PeninsulaChiroCenter.com on the web. And Excuse me. Like them on Facebook. We're going to teach Dr. T also how to do that. We're going to get him to do a chiropractic adjustment uh, sometime on the show. All right. So we're going to be teaching everybody this new little thing. All right. So anyway, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you, everybody. I did say happy birthday already to Scott Fitzgerald. And there was one more person, Lamar Yoder. Lamar, if you're listening, Thank you for all you do and uh, for our community, for the Greenwood Mennonite School, and for the good businessman you are. So thank you, Lamar, and happy birthday to you. I won't mention that you're 59 years old, okay? But anyway, happy birthday, young man. You're much younger than I am. And Scott Fitzgerald is having a birthday today, too. All right, with that said, you're watching a show, you're listening to a show called Weller Does Del Marva. People are saying, golly day, Jim, don't you ever stop? I don't ever stop. In other words, I have a good time. And so we all got up early and uh, we made our way safely to Laurel Junction. And uh, we're trying to, you know, be here for you. So uh, we want you to know the roads are bad. After this, I'm going home and I'm probably going to possibly stay home. We'll just have to see how that goes. But I'm loaded, man. I'm ready. I got a big old generator in the back of the truck and I got a great big heater. So no matter where I go, until I run out of gas or diesel fuel, I'm going to have heat, okay? And I got my top cap on now, so I could camp out there if I had to. So with that said, what is the next person we want to talk to? Let's get a hold of, well, I told him after eight. Let's call Doug Hudson real quick. Can we do that? Doug Hudson, stand by. We're going to call you real quick. Doug Hudson, these are all prearranged people. They said, Jim, you can call me. I said, oh, I do need to tell you all something. A friend of mine passed away. His name is Val Fox. Many, many people know Val. Good man uh, from Lincoln. And uh, his services were supposed to be this morning. They are postponed until next Saturday, okay? So I just want to let you know, February 5th, February 5th, okay, is Val Fox's service. So we are trying to call Doug Hudson real quick. Going to talk to him for just a minute or two. So I don't know if it's ringing or not, but I'm hoping it is. And uh, we're going to be getting Doug Hudson, we're checking off our list. Here's the list of people to call that I wrote down. So anyway, um, I've talked to Dave Wilson already. I am calling Doug Hudson. I've talked to Jeff Corman. 
Um, who is next? Talk to Mike Sando. You is, reached Doug Hudson. Sorry. Oh my gosh, I got his voicemail. He blocked me. All right, Doug. That was my Doug Hudson phone call. All right, so right after 8 o'clock, we hope to talk to Jesse Vanderwin. Here's the thing. All these people on this list, they're busy people. They're busy people, and they're like, yes, Jim, you can bother me on Saturday morning when I should be busy. Uh-oh, is that him calling back maybe? Okay, caller, are you there? Hey, go on, Jim. How you doing, Terry? Are, all right, are you, are you snowing in? Um, we are doing the show live. Are you watching us on TV? Oh, yes, I sure am. And how's everything? Oh, everything's good. Good. Well, I appreciate you calling. What are you doing today? Oh, I'm not just staying in. I'm going to stay in, staying in and, and watch the snow. All right. How do we look on TV today? Oh, you look good. Good. You're doing a good job. Well, thank you. All right. Well, I'm going to let you go. Is that okay? Yep. I'll talk to you later. See you, Terry. Thank you. All right. Have a good day. Bye-bye. You too. Bye-bye. All right. That's our buddy, Terry. He uh, supports the show, watches the show. So I want to talk about my accountant real quick. Um, which is George Luff. You've heard me mention this many times. He has sponsored the show from almost from the very get-go. And I just want to say that if you need some help with your accounting work, you know, it's the end of the year and it's tax time, and I don't even know when tax time is. I know that they moved the date last year, but they moved the date back this year. So anyway, if you need help with your accounting or your taxes or whatever, Luff & Associates is always looking for new clients. I don't know if they call them customers or clients, but whether you're a business, whether you're a corporation, whether you're not a corporation, um, I just want to let you know um, they will you know, take care of your taxes, all right? Um, so you could uh, be just a, a regular person. You don't have to be a business for them to do your tax returns or to give you tax advice or help you in any way they can. Uh, I want to let you know that. Uh, they have three offices, one in Milford, one in Dover, one in Rehoboth. I'm going to give you a phone number that gets you to all three of their offices. And uh, I've, I like dealing with them. George Luff, I started with him probably about 30 years ago now. And uh, his son, Tyler, is uh, very involved now. He takes care of most of our stuff. And a uh, good team of people there. When you call, you're going to get somebody. They'll do a good job for you. So it's called Luff and Associates. Uh, they are CPAs. And uh, they th have three locations. But anyway, you give them a call. And here's the number, 302 422 9699 LuffCPAs.com on the web. LuffCPAs.com on the web. Okay? All right. With that said, they also will help you with your payroll with their easy payroll system. So if you have a business and you need some help with payroll, they will help you with that. Now at 8 o'clock, at 8 o'clock, 8 a.m., we take a break from the radio. We're going to take a break from the radio. So I want you to switch over to TV Delmarva. Dot com or TV Del Marva on over the air, Channel 14, or Weller Does Del Marva on the Facebook. I also want to let you know if you want to buy an ad on our electronic billboard in Ellendale, I've got a 50% off offer for you. So uh, if you're interested and you've never advertised with me before, we'll let you buy an ad for half price on the billboard. Okay, so uh, that would be like a 30 day ad, you know, or 60 days or 90 days or whatever you want to do. I'm trying to get some new advertisers on there. And uh, see what we can do. So, um, is that another phone call? Yeah. All right, let's take it real quick. Caller, are you there? Yeah. How you doing? Good. How you, Jim? Good. How's everything with you? Good. Good. And I got Emery. Emery, who? How do you know who it is? I Over just want. I want to make sure you knew who it was. Yeah. Hey, has Milton has Milton opened up? I mean, are they open or what's going on in Milton? Yeah, I'm looking for I'm looking for uh, suntan lotion. Okay. It's uh, hot over here. I went outside in five minutes. I got sunburned. Did you really? Yeah. Wow. Well, right over there, they um just put in new gas pumps. What's the name of that place? They got real good fried chicken. What's that place in Milton? Quick Stop. Quick Stop I'm yeah. gonna bet you that if you make your way to the Quick Stop, you'll find some suntan lotion, and if not. Go ahead and get a breakfast sandwich or something like that. So Okay. Um, now the town of Melton, they're doing a good job getting the streets cleaned up. All right. Well, good. Are you out there helping them, like telling them how to do it, or are you helping them by staying out of the way? I, I'm staying out of the way. You're doing a good job of it. Yeah. All I, right. Uh, yeah, I've, I've been watching them. They've been working out here to dog fish. All right. Getting them roads cleaned up, and they've done a good job in front of my house. All right. Well, thank you for calling in, okay? Okay, buddy. Hey, stay, you all stay safe now. Okay, see ya.
Okay, pal. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 All right, everybody. There he goes. Emery West. I knew it was him. I just like to make him say it. You know what I mean? So, what is going on? We're here. We're sitting inside Laurel Junction. Um, it's been a good morning. We've uh, had some different people on. I think Colin Walls is getting ready to join me. We're going to talk a little bit about TV Delmarva. And uh, then I got more stuff to tell people. And um, Weller's is definitely closed today. Um, I don't know if Chef Fred is cooking food yet or not. So I don't want to... I don't want to say for sure. So um, I thought right. I smelled bacon. Thought you smelled bacon. But maybe right. that might have just been me wishing for bacon. <laughs> Very possible. Colin, what do you think of the show so far today? Uh, it's doing. It's great. Yeah, it's doing it's good. great. And okay, we even had uh, compliments on the over the air feed. Very saying good. It looks very good. So we've very got good. a new system set up here. We've That's right. got this certain encoder that we wanted to use, and we finally were able to get the the right ports opened up on right. the router here to right. to allow us to send it out. So yeah, huge, huge difference. And I'm sure the viewers, over the air viewers are noticing the difference in it. Well, well, good. Yeah, I noticed it. It looks much better. Did you so really? You. Okay. Yeah. Well, when you showed me earlier. Oh, yes. So, yeah. So we, we constantly have electronic things that we can yep. overcome. It never ends. And especially when you rely on electricity and internet. Sure. And yeah. Things, yep. of, things like that. So, all yeah. right. So what else is going on with you? Uh, well, if you're uh, if you want to give us a report about what's going on in your area, oh, you can yeah. you can send it to our uh, TB Delmarva Facebook page. All right, send uh, just a message to us there, or you, you can want send pictures. It, uh, pictures would be good. Yep, and uh, if you want to tell us where it's from and everything, we, we may use them on our news story. Okay, uh, and if you want to send us in, in an email, right, it's news at tvdelmarva dot com. News, news at tvdelmarva dot com. Is that N E U Z? N E W S. N E W S. I was so close. Yep. I was so close. All you right. were close. I was close. Yes. All right. So, what else are you doing today? Uh, well, we'll be uh, checking road conditions, keeping updates, uh, keep bringing people updates on the road conditions of what's going on out there, how things are now, going. This is different when you had and you were very involved with your, your service department, you know, your business, you yeah. know, servicing yep. guards. Mm -hmm. And you kind of let Colin the second take that over. Yeah. Um, but then when you closed, you were closed. When uh, you closed for a day, you were closed. Yeah, except we had to, you know, we would have stuff to clean up in the parking lot and okay. shoveling things. But, yeah. But now it's, now you're not ever closed. No, it's 24-7. Yeah. Right. I'm just saying, I mean, it's yeah. got to be totally different. In other words, you know. It is. Um, yeah, it is. It's good, though. We things are it. always coming towards you, coming at you. Yep. Uh, lots of information. Uh, you, you're trying to, you know, make sure that what you report and what you guys say is accurate yes. and dependable. Yeah, it, and it has words, to be. Yeah, You're not looking for sensationalism. You're looking for good reporting. Yeah, accurate. And uh, so, and if you take a look after this show, uh, on TV Delmarva. It's called the Reporters Weekly. Yeah. Jonathan Mastrada is back with that. And uh, I think it's, is it our fifth episode, Hunter? Yeah. I yeah. think it is, yeah. Episode number five. Yep. Where uh, you get a more in depth version of some of your news stories throughout the week. Exactly. Or yeah. something brand new. Yep. You never yep. know. Yeah. Okay. So, so you so got to check it out weekly. Check it out right here on TV Delmarva after this show. How do you watch TV Delmarva? Well, you're watching it right now, but right. Uh, there's other ways. So, over the air, point your antenna towards Seaford. Rescan, look for channel 14. You can find us there, five channels. Uh, Roku, okay. if you have a Roku device, search for TV Delmarva in Roku. And you search for it just like you would any other. Like if you wanted to put Netflix on there. Right. Or You, you just know, download the, the channel. You download the channel, Disney Plus, any of those. Right. It's just like that. We and come then up it's the always same. there. Once you download it one time, it's always there. Yes. Yep. Right. Yep. All right. So, so that yeah, that's, that's, or tvdelmarva.com. And if you look at our website, we've actually been doing some work on our website. So it's looking okay. a little bit better. It's a, it's a long, slow process, but we're, we're getting there. But, I mean, every week you're just constantly adding new things, doing yeah. new things, doing it better than you did it last week, and just you're and, evolving. And, uh, and evolving. Our, our numbers are reflecting it. I mean, our, yes. our viewer numbers are becoming significant. <laughs> yeah. I mean, in my mind, they're huge. Now, to yep. somebody else, they might not be, but they are huge in my mind. And uh, we're really proud of it because we're. I, I, I feel be. we're doing a good job. I think you're doing a great job, and yeah. I think you know even like people that are you know advertising with you, they're mm -hmm. they're they're getting more than their money's worth because you're just steadily building the audience. Yeah, for sure. Yep. Okay. Yep. So, do you right. know? I got a question. Okay. Do you think or know is there going to be a monster truck show tonight in Salisbury? 
I don't know, but they might need. I hope they have the monster trucks at the hotel with them so they right. can drive them there to get there. They might not I have to wonder. trailer them. Hey, I do have a public service announcement. Oh, okay. Okay, so PSA. this will be the first time we've done a public service announcement. Okay. Um, Indian River Volunteer Fire Company is encouraging people that when they dig out their fire hydrant, they mm-hmm. keep, you know, three feet, you know, kind of all the way around it. So okay. They, so, you know, you don't want to, the last thing you want to do is pile snow on top of your fire hydrant. You know? I, I so, do like how they assumed everybody was going to dig out their fire hydrant. Right. That was right. a nice way of well, suggesting it to them, too. Right. But I think it's really just to make sure that, you know, they can get to it and find sure. it oh, and yeah, look up definitely. to it. You know, you know, it makes a difference. So uh, so I believe that was our first public service announcement ever. Oh, so. okay. All right. There you I'll go, you, everybody. Jim. All right. We're prepping for the radio. We're prepping for the radio. Now we're back on the radio. So good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, Jim Weller here. You're listening and watching Weller Does Del Marva. And we are now, we are now finally going to call Jesse Vanderwin. We're going to get him on the telephone, and in the meantime, we're going to talk real quick about no-nonsense office machines. Rick Fowler, uh, another good supporter of the show. I'm sure he's closed today, but if you need a copy or if you need a printer or if you need a computer, if you need a tablet, if you need a laptop, if you need a gaming system, if you need help with something, you got a screen that's broke on something, you need a keyboard, a monitor, whatever you may need. He's got new, he's got refurbished, he's got used, he stands behind what he sells, and he knows what he's doing, and he knows what he's talking about. So you give him a call, 302-856-7381, that's 856-7381. On the web, it's nononsenseoffice.com. Like him on Facebook, he's very active there. He'll do you a good job. No Nonsense Office Machines in Georgetown, two miles east of the circle, right next to Sports at the Beach Complex, okay? Now, the phone might be ringing. We are calling Jesse Vanderwin. Jesse Vanderwin. State rep, Jesse Vanderwin, okay? And um, and he's also uh, part of the Vanderwin family, owners, operators of Vanderwin's ice cream. If you're sitting around home today, hopefully you've got some Vanderwin's ice cream in your freezer. In your freezer, okay? Because you can buy it by the pint or the quart or a cone or a cup, or whatever you may want. So uh, if you're craving ice cream, this is exactly when you should be stocked up on chocolate chip ice cream from Vanderwins, or some chocolate, or some vanilla, whatever. So we're going to chat with Jesse if we can get him on the phone. And uh, we got a whole mess of people we're going to try to get on the phone here today. Uh, everything's been working good and bad. There's a dog in the background, uh, really enjoys the show. It's upset that he can't see us. So, uh, but anyway, hey, Mike, how are you doing? So are you um, ready to do something, or you want to sit down in person, or what do you feel like doing? Okay. Well, come right on around. Are you there, Jesse? I'm here. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Are you awake, or did we just wake you? No, we're, uh, we're trying to clean some snow up around the dairy farm this morning, so we're, bit, we're up. Okay, you're up. And would you get up about 10 minutes ago? <laughs> well... About two and a half hours, maybe. All right. So this is uh, Jesse Vanderwin, the Vanderwin family, uh, my state rep. And um, so you got a busy day ahead. Very, very busy. I, I think the wind might mess us up as much as the snow because we get one thing cleaned off and it blows right back shut, if you know what I mean. Okay. I got you. Yep. That's like one step forward and two steps back. <laughs> That's about right. So we'll get, we'll get through it. We always do. All right. And um, anything else going on? There's no ice cream today, correct? No ice cream today. Um, No ice cream today. Just trying to make the cows comfortable and take care of cleaning out the chicken house lanes and and that type of thing. So it's going to be a busy day. All right. Well, I appreciate you at least talking to us. Guess where we're at? Laurel. Laurel, Delaware. The hub of everything. Well, that's no, that's so, exactly right. I mean, I, what time did you leave this morning, Jim, to go to your um, tomorrow? About 4.30, quarter of five. Took my time. Um, I do have to say, Del Dot did a fantastic job. Fantastic job. They really did a good job out there. So, um, but. Sure. I would agree with that. They're working on it. I mean, I've seen plow trucks moving all morning, so they're doing the best they can, that's for sure. Yep. Well, I won't hold you up. Um, Later in life, we're going to teach you how we can bring you on through Facebook Messenger. We got a new new thing going here, so um, we'll we'll do that another day. Okay. 
That sounds good, Jim. Thanks for calling, and yep. everybody stay safe out there. You too. Thank you for your support. See ya. Take care. Bye. Bye. All right, now we're going to switch over to young man. Young man, he's been outside shoveling snow, uh, supervising in a supervisory position. Yeah. Uh, Mike Mercer, owner operator of the Laurel Junction. Yes. yes, it was his dream as a little as a little young man to own the largest flea market in the Delmarva Peninsula. Right. Got that off the bucket list, Jim. Got that <laughs> off the bucket list. Yeah. All right. So yeah. you are literally out there driving the tractor, helping with the snow. I am trying. I trying. Am trying. All yes. right. And um, so how are you? Good. 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 Uh, good. Yeah. Good now. So I'm inside. It's a little warmer. So. Now, is it true that people can um, have all the snow they want off of any of them tables out there? Well, I was... When you when I come off the tractor, I've been out cleaning off the tables, trying to figure out what the best deal I could do. I was just going to do free tables. Okay. But, you know, i got to pay for the plowing and all that. So okay. I'm going to say today only, if you rent a table, you get two tables free. So you'd actually two. get three tables. Really? Yeah. That's and, unbelievable. Yeah. And, and I just... Uh, you're you know, so just, kind. Well, I just figured. That's I don't know the least. what kind. You're just so kind. <laughs> I just figured that's the least I could do. All right. So, we, uh, yeah. You're such a public servant. Yeah. Uh, the people are staying off the road, which yeah, are good. I just, right. Uh, when the plow goes by the entrances, we like to keep the entrance clear. Opened up, yeah. Yeah, and we're able to go yeah. right out onto Route Nine and Route Thirteen and okay. spin our tractor around, which is a big help because a lot of times when the plow plows that up and you're trying to keep it out of the way yes. you, you, you're yeah. in the way yeah today, you're in the way but today i've noticed the people are are staying off the road which is a, good. a smart thing good thing yeah, yeah. It's nothing worse than trying to turn off of a nicely plowed road and getting stuck right at the and entrance it, of somebody's I, yes. driveway or business i agree or something. I in agree. a front wheel drive honda civic <laughs> or something like that you know? i agree but yeah right. it looks like to me it's slowing down a little it's hard to it tell it does but the wind's going to pick up yeah well i think that i think the uh the problem for Dell Dot is going to be the drifting. The drifting, uh, yeah. The drifting yeah. is is going to be uh, is going to be tough, but because um, it it is windy, okay. and it's a uh, it's a. Uh, between a powder and a heavy snow, it's kind of a unique snow. You know, it's not real wet, but it's you know right. it's still blowing and. It's going to be a mess all day, I believe. I agree with you. I and what kind that. of training did you have to go through uh, to be able to operate this tractor and the snow shovel and so on? Extensive. 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 Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. I went to three different colleges to uh, <laughs> to, uh yeah. and uh, was a second semester freshman when I finished up. So, uh, uh, but yeah, I, I did. Uh, I did take a number of courses in snow plowing. So Very good. Thanks everybody at York College. I really appreciate that. So, <laughs> well, I, York I, probably gets yeah. more snow. Yeah, I got my wife and uh, and a degree in snow. Plowing, so. Okay. And, well, and, good. And, 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 oh, you met your wife in college? I did. I did. Wow. I did. She just, and how'd you uh, get her to move all the way to down down here? Um, that's a good question. She really? she kind of followed me down and was the only one that uh, the only one of her siblings that that left the Pennsylvania area. So, really? Uh, yeah, I feel fortunate. Feel a little bad. She had a birthday recently, and uh, I actually gave her COVID for her birthday. Oh my God! Yes, yeah, so that what was a nice uh, guy. Yeah, after all these was years. Was her birthday for... last Tuesday? Yes, last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This so, week. This week. Yeah. This week, yeah. actually. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Same day as my wife's. Yeah. That's oh, all. That's I know. right. That's right. Yep. Yeah. We so, won't um... go in to her age, but she's doing a lot better. She had a right. couple rough days, and I was just finishing it up, and and okay. uh, so anyway, that was. Uh, you same. really married up, didn't you? Oh, no question. No, no question. question. Although I will say that, you know, a lot of people ask me, did she stay upstairs or did, you know, how, did, didn't you keep away from each other? But trying to keep her six feet away from this body was just not an easy thing, <laughs> you know, so, uh, but uh, it was just always not, doing charity work. <laughs> it was just not an easy thing. So I, I don't fault her. A She's bit. very hands on. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah. right. So, hey, look, I'm, we're gonna. We're, I think. Are we gonna try this? Uh, the Facebook live from, get from out the there, tractor. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is my we my maintenance guy and I. We do about 20 minutes a half hour on, 20 minutes a half All hour right. off. So the next time I go out, I'll, I'll take my phone out there and. Uh, Will you reach and, out to us? Show, okay. And then I'll yeah. connect as quick as I can. Yep. Yep. I, you'll understand how I got that degree in. Uh, <laughs> In snowplow, so you learned a lot about Facebook this morning, didn't I, you? I'm telling you, it's always right. an education when you guys show up, Jim. It's All always right. an education. Well, we're going to leave you for now, but try to join us in a little while. I will do it. Okay, Thank you. see ya. Bye. Bye bye. 
All right. Hey, if you can, I'm going to do one more segment for Mid-South Audio. Our good friend Kevin Short has a wonderful store in Milton, Delaware. It is closed today. But if you need any kind of electronic gear, uh, whether it's microphones or headphones or speakers or amps or lighting or things to do Zoom calls or that little gizmo he had last week that lights you up and you could talk into it and so on, he's got stuff going on. So if you're doing Zoom meetings and so on. So it's called Mid-South Audio. He's in Milton, Delaware. It is one of the largest electronic superstores in the state of Delaware, in the tri-state area anyway. And if you're visiting Delaware, there's tax-free shopping in Milton. So anyway, give them a call. Check them out. MidSouthAudio.com. You can learn a lot there. Phone number 302-856-6993. That's 856-6993. Now, can we make a phone call? Let's try to get this gentleman on. Sheriff Mike Lewis, if we could call him next. Sheriff Mike Lewis, we will be calling you um, if you could stand by and be ready. We talked about Vanderwins already. We had Jesse Vanderwin on, and uh, Ashland's birthday is tomorrow. We've already told everybody about that. Told you about the buildings for rent. I told you about the billboards for rent. We got a lot going on, folks, and uh, we're sitting inside Laurel Junction, Chef Fred's Cafe. And uh, we are getting ready to, on the telephone call, Sheriff Mike Lewis, just to see what is going on in Maryland as far as the weather, okay? Just to see what's going on in Maryland, all right? So I think we're having a birthday party tomorrow for Ashland. We got her some really nice gifts. So that'll be a lot of fun. Stay tuned for those pictures. You can always friend me on Facebook if you want to keep an eye on me. We don't even have to be friends. Not going through? Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to try it from my phone. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to do that. And um, let me just see here real quick if I can do that. Yeah, it uh, starts with 443. And the next number is the same as that first number. N. Oh, um, not N. 9. 7. All right. Okay. Sorry about that. You want to do it or me? Okay. All right, so anyway, uh, Ashlyn's birthday is tomorrow. I said that. We got our lots of presents. We're going to have a good party at our house. And I got some buildings for rent. I got a billboard for rent. Weller's is closed. I'm trying to keep you up to date on everything today, okay? Vanderwood's ice cream is closed today. Lots of things are closed today. Um, if you want some free snow, you can uh, come here to Laurel Junction and uh, any of the snow on top of any of the tables you can have for free. Uh, if there's any yellow snow, leave it alone, okay? Hey, uh, good morning. Are, are you there, Mike? Not yet. Okay. All right, we're waiting for the phone to ring. So we're reaching out to Mike Lewis, the sheriff. Um, sheriff Mike Lewis. All right. So we're going to be calling in. Uh, we've had a good morning here. The show has been live. We're sitting right inside Laurel Junction. And um, things are going on, and uh, people are plowing snow, and uh, just many, many different things. How you Sheriff Mike Lewis, please? Okay, so maybe he'll call back. Maybe he won't. We'll go from there. Um, I did want to say that um, Dry Zone is another great sponsor of the show. Been with me for years. Love talking about them. Love dealing with them, and you will too. So if you need a crawl space encapsulation, uh, maybe your basement is leaking. Maybe it will be leaking after this snow. Maybe you need a sump pump or you got some structural problems. They do lots and lots of things, and you can learn a lot about them. I can't tell you all the services they provide, you know, in this segment. So just go to Dry Zone. Dot com and you can learn all about them. Bill and Heather Anderson own and operate it. They've uh, got a good team of people. I love dealing with them. I just had them recently come under my house and check my sump pumps and check my dehumidifiers. And um, I got to spend some time with Steve under there. And, uh, man, he just really knew his stuff. And uh, just making sure everything's in good order. I had my house, my house encapsulated years ago and been tickled to death with dry zone. And uh, they just do all kinds of things, and they do it right. Now, another thing they have. They have another division called Hello Garage, where they'll come in and recoat your garage floor and make it look better than new. Uh, they can put some cabinets up. They can help you make your garage look spiffy. Okay, they're not remodeling it or anything. They're just making it better than it was. So anyway, they provide a lot of things with Hello Garage. You can learn about that at hellogarage.com. All right, so check out dryzone.com, hellogarage.com. And if you're listening, and if you're looking for a new career, a career change, you want to do something different with your life, Dry Zone is always hiring, okay? They're always busy, they're always growing, and they're always hiring. So give them a call, 
or dryzone.com on the web, on the web, on the web. Hey, is Chef Fred here? I wouldn't even mind talking to him if he wanted to come join me. Or somebody. Wouldn't mind it, wouldn't mind it. Uh, Chef Fred and I um, actually have the same hairdo. Uh, Sometimes he parts his hair on the left, and I try to part mine on the right or the left. Um, So I think that's called ambidextrous or something like that. So if we could get a word with Chef Fred, we're going to do it just for the fun of it. What's up? Are you? That's a good idea. Hold on just one second. Let me see if we get Chef Fred. I don't want him to be nervous. Um, We will take some phone calls. Colin, that was a good point. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anybody. Um, Let me just check here just real quick. Yeah, let's let's take a phone call. Is he going to come or he doesn't feel like it? Mrs. Mrs. Chef Fred's coming. All right. Hey, call me right now if you want to tell me where you're at and what the weather's like. 422-7336. 422-7336. We're not giving anything away, but we want to hear from you. Where are you at? What's the weather like? And who shovels your sidewalk or driveway? Uh, Mike Mercer is here today. I don't know if he is for hire. Um, I don't know if he's looking to come out and shovel people's sidewalks. Oh, now he's going to say something. What? Correct. I'm thinking about doing a sidewalk shoveling demonstration. Okay. So would all show up with a shovel. I, I <laughs> okay. Do a demonstration. You were talking earlier about okay. Three. Let me so, say, nobody can hear you, it's, so except me, but I got it. So, Mike Mercer, this is one of the kindest offers I've ever seen a human being make. He is basically saying if you're struggling and you don't know the proper way to shovel snow, he doesn't want you to hurt yourself or Pull your, pull your groin muscle or anything like that, shoveling snow. If you come down to Laurel Junction with your snow shovel, he will properly instruct you for at least 30 minutes of how to shovel snow across the front of the building. So at least it will be concrete, you know, it's nice and smooth. He, he'll provide the asphalt, the snow. Um, there will be a free, fresh air. Oh, somebody's on the phone. Oh, caller, are you there? Sorry, Mike. We cut you off, Mike. All right, Lord, thank you. Jim. Jim, hey, how you doing? Good, man. How are you? Good. Who am I talking to? Jim, this is John. Uh, I'm in Rehoboth Beach. I met you at the diner there two weeks ago near Christmas. Remember I played the accordion a little I bit? I did. Uh, John, how are you today? Good. I just want to let you know it's about a foot of snow here. It's still snowing, and, man, you can hardly see the house next to you, you know? Really? Yeah, it's very thick, Jim. But, Jim, you're coming through loud and clear. I'm enjoying the show. Now, John, I have a question. Yes. You, this is a public service announcement. Avoid sure. any yellow snow. Absolutely. And also brown snow. Avoid <laughs> that, too. That's a good one, John. <laughs> okay, Jimmy, take care. Especially if it's steaming. Okay. Yeah. All right, Jim, be good. Okay. <laughs> All right, see ya. That was a public service announcement. Avoid brown steaming snow. <laughs> I let my dogs out about 4 o'clock this morning, man. They couldn't come back in quick enough. All right, ma'am, could I get you to just pull up here? And this is a – are you Chef Fred's wife? Yes, I am. Wow, what's your name? Brenda. Brenda, how you doing? Good. Good. I'm so glad to have you come on. You're not nervous, are you? No. Okay, well, good. And um, is Chef Fred here? Is he, is he doing he anything is. or is he just watching TV? He's cooking breakfast. Oh, is he really? Mm-hmm. All right, so uh, so you going to hang out for the day or just for this morning? Or? We'll see how it goes. See how it goes. And where do you come from? Like, how far did you have to Del drive? Delmar. How were the roads coming in? They weren't, the highway wasn't too bad. But them back roads and getting well, to we the highway. We live right off the highway. So, you do? Yeah. Okay. Now, can you tell me, people come here and they say, I love Fred's food. It's just so good. In other words, what is his secret? Like, who taught Chef Fred how to cook? Uh, he was 15 when he started cooking. Was he really? Yeah. Have you two been together since you were kids, teenagers? Um, we've been married 20 years last year. Have you year. really? Yep. Wow. Mm-hmm. Well, and are you from Delaware or where? I'm from Maryland. Maryland? Mm-hmm. And, and what brought Chef Fred from Massachusetts? The Laurel Junction? I'm not sure how we ended up here. Okay. All right. Well, what's it like being in Laurel inside the uh, We like Laurel being Junction? here in Laurel right. and serving the community. Well, you're all hard workers. We are. You're hard workers. You know, seven days a week, you can 
You know, in other words, always cooking. Well, I really enjoy being here. I really enjoy the food. We enjoy having you. Well, thank you. And who does Chef Fred's haircuts? <laughs> he does them himself. <laughs> he does them himself. Okay. <laughs> i just messing. So anyway. And um, so, um, well, I just wanted to say hi. If I gave you a couple gift cards to Vanderwins, would you use them? Do you ever go to Vanderwins? Sometimes, yeah. Have you been there before? Mm -hmm. How about Chick-fil-A? Yep. Do people that own restaurants ever eat at other restaurants? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes? Well, I'm going to just give you some for the heck of it. Is that okay. all right? That's I'm going to give you two gift cards to Vanderwins, all right? And I'm going to give you two gift cards to Chick-fil-A just for the heck of it. Is that all right? Sounds good. And then I'm going to give you two keychains while we're at it, all right? Okay. From Weller Does Del Marva. And um, I appreciate you letting us be here every week. We try not to be in the way, and we try to brag on you as much as we can. Well, we like that. All advertising. Right. Well, that's what it's all about, isn't it? It is. Get the yeah. word out. Well, thanks a lot for joining me. Thank I feel you. honored that you did. And um, um, you're going to be able to get Diane to join us sometime? I don't think she's coming in today. <laughs> okay, she's bowling. No, I'm no. just messing. But all right. Well, thank you very much for joining us, okay? We appreciate there you go. It. Be thank safe, you. all right? Okay, there we go. So Mrs. Chef Fred was here with us. So anyway, Chef Fred, what I'm telling you is there's a restaurant in here right inside Laurel Junction, and the food is really, really, really good. And I would not say that if it was not really, really, really good. All right. Um, let's call Lewis Briggs real quick. Can we do that? Um, this is the uh, head meteorologist for the town of Cokesbury. Uh, he's in charge of the public service department. Um, I think there's some boat docks out there when they refuel these nuclear submarines, and uh, he makes sure they practice all the safety protocol when things like that happen. So, uh, and I think you've heard of Del Dot. Uh, they have a, their their you know maintenance department is called Coke Dot. So anyway, and um, we're going to try to get Lewis on here just for the heck of it, and um, see if he's got just a minute. I'm sure he's extremely busy. Lewis gets up very early, and uh, I think he reads the newspaper. He's one of the few people I know left in America reading a newspaper but um he does do that and uh lewis are you there jim jim i'm currently reading the newspaper i mean we're actually printing the cooksbury times right now oh really so yeah wow. yeah you're gonna you know but uh i, I want to talk about our newest device we have at cooksbury okay what is that breakaway mailbox <laughs> breakaway mailboxes all yeah, right we, we we developed it uh well, the prototype probably a year and a half ago uh you know we we do a lot of forward thinking here. Uh, last night, I didn't get the dome up in time to prevent all the snow. So uh, with my uh, my expert contacts with my engineering division. Wow. This, uh, breakaway snow box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you like to see one in action sometime? Yeah. Are you going to bring it down now? Well, not right this minute. I'm on my way. You've seen my snow plow, obviously, right? Right. Uh, okay. We're, we're having some issues with it right now with the traction, obviously. The Hey, you, you were in a tire business for, what, 30, 40 years? Yeah. And you can understand about putting chains on, on a vehicle that size. I mean, it's just it's very challenging right now. But we're getting through it. We're working through it. But our, mail, our breakaway mailbox is... Um, the hot setup. We devised because what happens when something hits it, it just falls off and uh, on the ground, slides about 10 feet for safety out of the way of travel path. And uh, you go out there and, and re re uh, reassign it to your mailbox, you know. Wow. So it's and so very simple. this was designed and developed in, in Cokesbury. It's a prototype, yes, yes. Right. And we've got the we've got their patent pending on it, things like this. But, you know, I will offer this to Weller's Utility Trailers for exclusive sales. Ooh. All right. Well, and good. I'll say, Jim, I, I know that you have a lot of expenses to operating your business, things like that. And we'll, we'll, we'll only, we will not, we'll only take a percentage, okay? That's how we're we'll, for you and I. Like 60, okay. 80%, something like that? How much did you say? 68%. Well, you know, we, we were talking, if you use your, your uh, credit cards expense there, 3%, we've got to make sure we cover that and there's some other expenses like that and advertising, things of that nature. So we can probably do a 50 50 split with you and I. I'd mean, be happy with that. All right. Well, I appreciate that. That's by you. I mean, yeah. Let's get right on it before the snow's going. They're yeah, hard so to... We've got, I, I've got 300 on the way to your store right now. Well, well, we're closed right now. Just leave them by the door. Don't put them in the parking lot. No, 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 no. Jim, Jim, Jim it, it's, it's, like, it's like a produce stand. You know, we've got a little stand out there. You put your money in, and, and it, we got a machine. Oh, okay. And your box pops. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, okay. installation is extra, Jim, okay? Okay, so that's not included. Oh, no, no, no. We're, we're you know, it's just like you've got, got with your carports. We'll come help you. 
But, you know, we have, we have restrictions and liability with that also. But we're available. And I, I would like to know, when somebody digs the hole to put one in, where do you store the post holes? Well, sir, what we do is uh, that's another, how do I say it's proprietary information, okay? <laughs> okay. Yeah. We, so. you know, it's, it's, it's like we, we, we keep, we know that for a fact what we're going to do is have another company form for a, uh, a distribution of the, the post holes, actually. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good. Well, listen. Well, we're we're going you know, any time. If you want to consult on anything now. Uh, right now, we've got about uh, 15 inches of snow here. You know, we're pushing regular. And uh, the National Park area opened it up uh, with the, the ski slopes. Okay. Right uh, so the ski the, slopes I, I, the ski slopes I, I will agree. be open today for sledding? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Oh, yes, yes. In All fact, right. I have your, your – your, you had leased a spot. You and Kyle had leased a spot ahead of time. And you're, you have special admission to the park. You wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well thank Jim you. Bounds out there right now collecting the money. Yeah. You know. <laughs> So. I bet he is. <laughs> and and, and, and call, Kyle, he's he's he said if anything breaks down, he's on the way to fix it. So we're, we're okay. For this, but uh, uh, right. how, how are you holding up over there? Pretty good. We're what? doing pretty good. Yep. Yeah. We're worth every penny. People are paying us. So that's just that's what all you got to do. I, I mean, I, I know how it is. It's a struggle now anymore. I mean, it's it's like we try to develop new new techniques all the time, but keeping cooks very open, and ready to roll. You know. Yep. And we did take down the toll plaza today. We shut it down. All right. Uh, you know, we've done that. So, but, uh, anyway. All right. I'm going to leave you, Lewis, okay? You have a great day, Jim. Take care. Thank Bye-bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Let's, can we do Mike Mercer now? Okay. Mike Mercer is going to join us from out in the parking lot. Mike, are you there? I am here, Jim. All right. Is it cold out there, or do you just – is that, like, for effects? You look like you're cold. No, it's just all stage, Jim. It's, it's a little bomb, a little warm out of here. <laughs> I will say this, from when we talked last inside, I didn't realize I was hiring, but I think since I'm coming out of here, we might have an opening for a uh, snow removal man. It's, uh, it's, a new, it's a new position that just came available in the uh, last 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, I would like to fill it rather quickly. If uh, anybody wants to get that resume over to me, I can give you my email address. Okay. Are you a speed reader? Can you read it quickly? Uh, I'm not sure I'll have to read the whole resume. But if they're available later today, they might have a job. All right. Well, listen, I, I've, we've had a public service announcement. You want to be aware for brown snow. Avoid brown snow. Okay. I, I, that's, I'm glad you told me that. You no, know, I had all, all that uh, degree at York College on this, and they never mentioned that one time. <laughs> and if it's steaming, if it's steaming, really avoid it, all right? Now, listen, as I mentioned to you earlier, don't forget, about 9.30, I'm having that class for uh, snow removal. I'm uh, going to be teaching snow removal here. You show up with your shovel. You don't have to bring any snow. You don't have to provide anything but a shovel. Just bring your shovel. And I'm going to have about two half-hour, 45-minute clinics on how to properly shovel your sidewalk and home. That way, when you leave here, you will have your driveways and sidewalks at your home done professionally because you will be well tutored and you will have a wealth of knowledge on snow shovels. Well, and not only that, you're literally helping people develop a brand new business. I mean, you're you're helping them exactly. become an entrepreneur. And, and, and I'm, there's no charge. I'm doing this out of the kindness of my heart. There's no charge. You just show up and I'm going to teach you. We're going to learn. And I don't care if you bring a left-handed shovel or a right-handed shovel. I'm amphibious. I can teach you the way. <laughs> Left-handed, right-handed, you'll be fine. It's not amphibious. It's ambidextric. Oh, I'm just saying, Jim. Uh, I'll tell you what. I was too busy on the track to York College to learn all those big words. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, Mike. I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye. Bye. All right. There you go, folks. If you're looking for a new career and you need training on how to properly shovel snow... No charge. It's wow. a free class being offered exclusively, exclusively by Mike Mercer. That's quite the offer. Right out front of Laurel Junction. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, Colin. What a morning we've had. What a morning. So we're getting some reports in, some snow total reports. We've got okay. uh, Shannon from Millsboro says they have 12 inches there. And really? Laura says in Lewis they have 12 inches. <clears throat> Hunter, what are some reports you have over there? Can you give us any? You have any off the top of your head there? It's kind of I just sprung this on him. 13. Uh, we got reports from Rehoboth Beach with 13. 13, okay. 
Snow drifts over three feet. Wow. Wow, that's almost over my head. Yeah, it's getting there, right? Yeah. <laughs> Chin high anyway. Chin high anyway. <laughs> oh, so you're asking people if they would snap a picture maybe and uh, put it on the uh, Delmarva TV, TV Delmarva. TV Delmarva is what we're Facebook. calling it today. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's TV Delmarva. So TV Delmarva's Facebook page. Uh, well, you can do it. Send a message to us or post it on our page, whatever works best for you, or comment on a post. If you go look, we've All got right. a post on there asking uh, what you're seeing out there. All right. So other than that, um, I think it's been pretty good. The crowd's been pretty good to hear today. The crowd has been great, yeah. No trouble, no fights that broke out. Not very rowdy at all this morning. What would you say, Colin? Nope, never mind. What did he say? He was going to tell me we were off the air. Okay. We're on the air, not on the air. We're good. We're good to go. Okay, we're good to go. Uh, So if you're watching over the air on TV, you might notice the picture looks a little bit better than it has been looking. Uh, It's because we've gotten the proper... We authority. were allowed access behind the curtain. Yes, we got the of proper the Laurel authority. Laurel Junction Internet site. Yes. Well, yes. Mike Mercer's walking around with a big grin on his face. He's yes. quite proud of himself. I, he just went. That was just a photo op. You know, he walked right. out there he to get that, on the tractor, right. and then he came right, right now back Now the in. other guy's out running the tractor. That's the guy that's actually doing all the work is out there now. Right. Now he's upsetting the dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my, my gosh, what a place. So, Laurel Junction, <laughs> free snow today. Yes, free snow right. today at Laurel Junction. So, anyway, if oh. you want to send us your snow report to TV Delmarva, look up our Facebook page and uh, send us a report from your area. And we'll right. try to Just get a that comment on the air. Or, or put a yard picture. stick in the ground. Yeah. Something yeah. like that, you know, take a picture of yeah, it. Yeah, and let so. us know if it's a drift or if it's the actual, you know, snow measurement. Correct. Yeah. So. What was that? It, yeah, I got it. Verification and all that kind of stuff. Right, verification, in other words, you know, because yes. we're in a nationwide contest to, to, to see if we got as much snow as people say we do. So well, I can tell the you, ruler in. you can post yeah. a picture and say that you took it on this date and people still won't believe you on certain things. Right. So I, I can attest to that. You can attest to that. <laughs> yes. All right. What do you think of that breakaway mailbox idea? I think it's a great idea. And, uh, you know, leave it leave it to the uh, engineers in Cokesbury. To come up with something like that. Right. I mean, that, that's world class there. Well, isn't that like the Silicon Valley out there in California that's, world? Yeah, this is the them, Silicon Valley. They, the Silicon Valley. Yeah, they use that silicone stuff to hold a lot of stuff together. I thought it's where, though, a lot of computer geeks, you know, go. Yeah, well, I mean, when you say computer geek, the first thing that pops in my mind is Lewis Briggs. Is Lewis Briggs, yes. <laughs> yep. Yep. And Mike Mercer. <laughs> and then me. Oh, my gosh. Now, that Jim Bowden guy, he is on it with He's pretty good. Stuff. He's, He's good. out there collecting the money. Right. You know, tokens. <laughs> He's multi talented. <laughs> he is very He's, smart. So. He is for sure. All right. Well, I uh, want to try to snag a couple more people. Okay. Linda Bosco just gave us a update. Update. To okay. TV Delmarva. What Twelve did she inches say? and still snowing. Now she is in the Milton area. Is that she right? is. Yep. Yeah. If she gets much more than three feet, Jim's going to be in trouble. Okay. Yeah. Because he and I are both vertically challenged. Right. <laughs> You'll meet All in right. the middle of the snow drift, both of yeah. you. Yeah. Linda, call us real quick. Hey, Linda, you want to do that um, Facebook Messenger thing? We can do that. Just go to James Weller's Facebook page and go to Messenger. And then, um, oh, food. Okay. Um, breakfast sandwich is up front. Breakfast sandwich is up front, Chef Fred's. Linda, go to Facebook Messenger and then reach out to me through a video chat. Okay? We'll bring you right on the show. Listen, I want to try again. I want to try again. I don't know if he's not recognizing that number. Um I'm going to call him from my phone. Is that okay? Okay. Just just to see. Um, I'm calling somebody to see if I can get an update on some things. Linda, you can reach out to me through, through the messenger if you want. And I'll be with you in just a minute. Will you be able to hear this if it works? Yeah. It's not going to work. He's busy. All right, I got to see who else I can call. That's it. I'm going to let it go. All right, everybody. You're watching and listening to Weller Does Del Morva weekly show. Got a lot going on. We didn't give away a lot today. Uh, I do want to say if uh, you do want to learn seriously, properly how to shovel snow, bring your snow shovel to Laurel Junction. Mike Mercer will give you a 45-minute training. It's almost like if you wanted to start your own business. 
We sell snow shovels for $10 at Wellers. Think about this truthfully, folks. If you want to get your kids working and make some money so they can buy more video games, buy them a $10 snow shovel at Wellers and put them out there shoveling snow. All right. What else is going on? I said Wellers is going to be closed today, didn't I? Yes, they are going to be closed today. Um, we're going to be open hopefully on Tuesday. We won't be open Monday. Hopefully on Tuesday. And Linda Bosco, we can talk to you through. I bet you Linda is doing her hair right now. She said, Jim, I did not want to be on the thing. Call us on the phone, Linda. 422-7336. 422-7336. Okay? Now, we've talked to a few people. A few people. Uh, Linda is saying she doesn't know how to do it. She's doing it. By golly. I can't believe I have figured this out. I feel like I've learned a brand new thing today. So we're going to talk, I think, next to, next to, next, or next. It's not working, is it? I messed up. I've turned the camera off somehow. Oh, here we go. Requesting video. All right, folks, you're going to see Linda Bosco here in a minute or so. Oh, there she is. She is so proud of herself today. I am. I am. Oh, wait, this way? Yeah, that way. Yep. Okay. All right. Oh, I did it. Don't talk too loud. I don't want to wake Jim up. Okay. All right. So how are you doing today? Uh, doing good. Just just watching the snowfall. Okay. And is it is it um, accumulating much, would you say? You got some inches there? Yeah, we got we have about a foot, and it's drifting around the trees. And I just want to tell you that the uh, TV Del Marva is coming through great. You like it? I do. And how do. Are, how are you watching that on your Roku device? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And um, what else is going on today? Uh, not a lot. We're just going to stay put. Our uh, snowplow guy came this er early this morning, but I guess he'll come back later because it's still snowing. So okay, and so we that's still ca our streets are still covered. Oh really? Are you going to go out? Not at all. <laughs> not at all. Okay. No, we have plenty of food, lots of water, good neighbors. We'll just stay put. All right. You got electricity? Uh, for now. For now. Okay. Please, oh, you got don't. your generator though. You're good to go. I know. Right. I, I just don't want to try it out right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, it tests itself. It tests itself regularly. You got nothing to worry about. Yeah, that's true. It it, it does test every Wednesday. I'm just right. I just miss being there the, today. Well, so. I bet you're really proud that you were able to make this work, weren't you? I am. I I can't wait to tell my kids I could do this. <laughs> so I'm just right. not sure how I did it. So I don't well, know if that's I could okay. do it twice. Well, well, we'll we'll go over it another time. All right. Well, I'm okay. gonna I'm gonna let you go. Uh, we missed you today. Um, okay. And it, I will see you guys next week. Well, we'll be here. Okay. Well, God willing, and the creek don't rise. I agree. All right. See you, Linda. Okay. Tell Jim I said hi. All right. Bye. 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 -bye. Folks, that's it. That's uh, Linda Bosco. I have sent Denise a message um, just to see if she will join me. I don't know how I would go about um, reaching out to Denise. I don't know how that works. Man, there's a boat right there. I had gone at the sales already pending. I've been wanting a boat, everybody. Something like that. Is that on TV? Yeah. All right, let me turn it off. Sorry about that. All right, folks, I am looking for a small boat. So here's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a small boat, 14, 16 foot. I'd like it to have a steering wheel. I'd like it to have a little roof. What's it called? A beamy top or something like that. Anyway, I'd like it to have that. And then just a couple of places for my grandkids to sit. Something we can just go fool around in. I wouldn't mind having something like that. Everybody's getting food. What's going on here? So anyway, um, I did eat some earlier, some donuts. I've got a new sponsor coming up. I'm going to approach Hostess and say, would you like to sponsor me with donuts? One pack every Saturday morning. I asked Denise if she could connect, and she says, no, can't do. All right, so Denise is not going to. Denise, if you're watching, you can call me and uh, tell me how things are there at 422-7336. Folks, we're in the last little bit of time. Um, so after my show, watch the Reporters Weekly on TV Delmarva, okay? Jonathan, Mast I'm going to say it wrong. Say it. Mastrat. Jonathan Mastrat. Um, 
he is going to be on, and he's got some really new updates on some things, and you don't want to miss that. That's going to be right after my show at 9 o'clock. I want to thank everybody that's watched the show today. I need a favor. I need you to send me some kind of a Facebook post or something like that. In fact, I'm going to make your life real simple right now. Real simple. Get a piece of paper and an ink pen. I'm going to give you a phone number that you can call. And I got to make a note of this so I don't forget. You'll get one Vanderwins gift card. Let me up that. You're going to get two Vanderwins gift cards and one Chick-fil-A. Okay, are you ready? You get one Chick-fil-A gift card and you get two Vanderwins gift cards. You can call this number and leave a message. Tell me your name and what you're calling for, okay? Because I use this number for many things. So say I'm here for the two Vanderwins and the one Chick-fil-A. Leave your name. I'll set them aside for you at Wellers in Bridgeville, and you can pick them up anytime next week, Tuesday through Saturday, all right? Tuesday through Saturday. One Chick-fil-A, I'm sorry, two, okay, let me start over. Two Vanderwins, one Chick-fil-A, all right? Two Vanderwins, one Chick-fil-A, for free. You call this number. Now, there is something you got to do. You got to tell me your name. And then you got to pick it up. You got to pick it up. People say, why in the world are you buying gift cards and giving them away for free? I'm doing it for one reason and one reason only. Because I want you to come into my store, Weller's Utility Trailers. I want you to take a few minutes and look around, maybe meet some of my team, and maybe consider doing some business with me. That's really, really, really why I give these gift cards away. So here's the phone number. It's 302 701-5001. You got to dial 302-751-5001 if you want two Vanderwins and one Chick-fil-A gift card. Leave your name and we will set them aside. We won't call you back. We'll just do it. Was that a phone call? Caller, are you there? Hello? Did I lose them? Did I wait too long? Caller, are you there? All right, I'm going to call Denise and just see what she's got going on, okay? Denise, we're going to call you on the telephone, 542, are you ready? Because when I left this morning, she was thinking I was crazy, crazy. Hello? Are, you're on, the, you're live, okay? Okay. All right, now... We got to um, hear how's things at the Fine Day Farm. Fine Day Farm. Well, I have not been out to feed the cats yet because it's pretty blustery out there. Okay. But they'll be fed within the next probably 20 minutes or so. Okay. Um, it's blowing. It's, I can't tell how much. I don't know how people tell how much snow they got because one area you look, there is no snow. You can see the grass. And the next area, it's piled up. So how do you know how many inches you got? You got to go out and level it off. Okay. And then stick a stick in it. Okay, so take the highest drift and spread it around a little bit. Take your yardstick and stick it in there and take a picture, okay? Okay, I'll do that, but not for a second. Or you can take your yardstick and take three measurements and then average it. Okay. Is okay. this true or are you just joking? Um, It's probably true in my brain but i am just joking <laughs> okay i want you to know i love your show today i have watched the whole thing no kidding just... yeah and i'm really sorry i didn't come i wimped out i was scared about getting stuck and and i told you we I would be fine totally i said we would be fine if we got stuck didn't i assure you of that you did and you always take such good care of me i should just trust that you know what you're doing but i always have that doubt in my mind remember when we were younger and we went parking and got stuck we got stuck all the time i think god was telling us we shouldn't be parking is what i think well or maybe we really weren't stuck and i was just telling you that because i wanted to spend more time with you (laughs) (laughs) maybe so maybe because we haven't been stuck together in a long time no we need to go parking again i think (laughs) right and get stuck (laughs) all right um, anyway, great show, great show. Did you hear the dog freak out when my alarm went off? Our dog? Buckley, my my alarm has changed to crickets. Right, I heard that. 
he freaked out when them crickets. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was wondering what crickets were doing in our bedroom. Right, they weren't there when he went to sleep last night. No. <laughs> Man, I never seen him act so weird. Oh my gosh, yeah, I, he was freaked. But remember, it's because he can't hear very well, and it was so loud, too. It wasn't like a soft cricket. It was a loud cricket sound. <laughs> Them daggone crickets. Oh, gosh. All we right. call the exterminator out, I guess. Yeah, yeah. all right. Well, um, anything else? No, no, it looks like a really nice storm. I mean, I love the snow. I always worry about the homeless and the cold and, you know, but... They have places to go. Hopefully they made it there. Okay. Um, we do have a couple of public service announcements that have been brought to our attention. Yeah. Um, evidently, it is wise to avoid yellow snow. <laughs> and brown. And steaming brown. Brown, brown steaming. Yeah. yeah. When your dog is standing at the door with a big smile. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Yeah. I loved Mike Mercer out there on the tractor. I mean, he, that was all staged. You all went the extra mile today. We did. We've got Colin the second here. We got Jonathan. We got Hunter. We got Colin. Mike Mercer came in. Uh, did the, the breakfast crew show up? They're over there fixing food. Uh, the, everybody is plowing snow and shoveling the sidewalks. and st it's, it's amazing. We've had a good time here today. You guys are tough. Nothing stops you. Nothing stops us. Well, we're, we're all really good public servants. You are. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I thought that was stretching it a bit, but I. Oh no, it. not us. You got to know this about us. We don't stretch anything but bubble gum. No, yeah. Oh All right. gosh. Oh, and I love the segment with the um, Cokesbury. Oh, you did. What do you I think of the breakaway mailbox? So smooth, you know. What do you think of one of them breakaway mailboxes for home? I think we. I think we need one. Right. Just for when delivery trucks back into it. Yeah, we've been hit a couple times. We have. All right, I'm going to leave you. Is that okay? What do I say? I'm going to let you go now. Yeah, I'm going to let you go. Are you coming home right away? Or are you going to work or what? Oh, I, that's pending. That's very pending. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to see what Are I can find. For the best offer? Is that what that's kind of where I'm at. In other words, you know, I just got to see. But I would like us, we need to go parking soon so we can um, get stuck somewhere. Okay, maybe in our own backyard or something. There you go. Okay. All right, I'll see you. Bye. She liked the show, everybody, by golly. I'll take that as a compliment. I get home sometimes after the show, and Denise sits down and watches it and says, why did you do this, or does my hair look right? Why did you do that, and so on. So today we're on a roll, everybody. So what you doing today? Hey, let's, let's open up the phone lines. We are completely squared away. 751, let me write that number down. I've had calls already. 302 751 Five zero zero one. You just call that number if you want two Vanderwins gift cards and one Chick Fil A gift card. You get all three for free. Leave your name and uh, tell me what you want, and uh, I'll set them aside at Weller's in Bridgeville. Okay. And um, phone number for right now. Call me right now and just say good morning. Tell me where you're at, what you're experiencing. Uh, four two two seven three three six. Four two two seven three three six. Okay. If you want to say good morning, if you want to tell me how much snow you've got, if you want me, if you want to tell me how you figure out how much snow you got. See, with the rain gauge, you can just look in the rain gauge. But with the snow, I think you need to take three measurements and then average it, and that will tell you how much snow you've got. What are those coordinates or whatever? So, um, yep. Hunter, did you want to say anything else before the show is over? He's thinking about it, okay? He's uh, been waiting over there thinking, man, I don't know whether to talk about my breakfast or my drink um, and so on and so forth. But anyway, uh, Hunter, how are you? I'm good. Very busy and tired. <laughs> tired. I want to say thanks a lot for all you do. I do know you work hard. Oh, now here's a phone call. Mm. Okay. All right. Caller, are you there? I'm here. How are you? I'm good, man. Well. Enjoying the weather. Where are you calling from? Which area? I'm. I am calling from Route 13 between Laurel and Del Mar. I've been out picking up staff all morning. Okay, well, good. And uh, do you want to mention your business or rather not? Um, I, well, it's titled Health Nanocoke. I don't know how they feel about me talking or not. But Okay, well, we'll just say this. You're trying to make sure everybody gets to work safely, right? Yeah, there you go. And I appreciate that. And um, so are you listening on the radio, evidently? I am. 
All right. And how's the show been, in your opinion? I think it's been pretty good today. It's, it's, it's helped keep my drive pretty good. Um, <laughs> okay. You know, it has good. been boring, that's for sure. All right. Well, good. We try hard not to bore you. Um, so have you ever listened before? I listen. It depends on, on <laughs> whether or not – well, it depends on what's going on on Saturday morning uh, okay. and what time I actually get out of bed. <laughs> okay. And uh, have you ever watched on TV, Delmarva? I I haven't. I don't have access to it, unfortunately. Okay. All right. Well, it's coming soon to everywhere, so we'll be everywhere. All right. That'd well, be cool. then I'm going to thank you for calling. Is that okay? Yes, sir. All right. Be safe, okay? Yep. Thank you. Bye. 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 All right. So if you want to call in and just say good morning, tell me where you're at, what's going on, 302-422-7336. So what did you say? Oh, I want to say that we're still not going to be done with the snow. It's still going to be here for at least a couple more hours. It's going to move out of the area between about like 1 and 3 p.m. Okay. this afternoon, and the sun might actually come out. But oh, really? then the good news is the snow is not actually going to stick around for a while either because middle of next week is going to be in the mid-50s. Wow. So we're going to have bud puddles. Yeah, it's going to be muddy. <laughs> muddy. All right. Can we take another call, yeah, Hunter? Caller, are you there? Yeah, Jim, this is Emery again. Hey, yeah. is, is it true what I heard that Charlie Cassell is preparing the track for uh, snowmobile races tonight and tomorrow afternoon? I don't know. I, I know there's some monster trucks looking for something to do, too. Yeah. Wow. So snowmobile races maybe at the uh, Delaware International Speedway. We're not sure. That's just a rumor, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we'll check on that. How about you let me know if you verify? Okay, buddy. Hey, thanks a lot. Yeah. Bye. 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 So if anybody knows if there is snowmobile races at the uh, racetrack, let us know as soon as possible. I'd like to know, is the Monster Truck Show a go for tonight? I might want to take Brody and Bane to the Monster Truck Show. So have you ever been to a Monster Truck Show? I have, not for quite a while. Really? Like yeah. a week or two or a year or two? <laughs> uh, it's probably been a good 10 years. Really? Yeah. Wow. You want to go with us tonight if we go? Mm, I'll, I'll think about it. All right. See Why don't you I, get your people to get up with my people? How about that? <laughs> gotcha. We got another call. Caller, are you there? Yes, I'm here. How you doing? Real good. How you doing? I'm doing fine. I called earlier and left a message about the uh, banner things you were talking about and the Chick-fil-A thing, and I went up there last week. Okay. To, uh, to check on a, a, a two-car garage from, from my neighbor. Oh, well, I good. I got to ask him for it. Well, good. Uh, I'm in C for Delaware. Well, good. Uh, yep, Concord in the Concord area. We, we looking at it. I don't know, maybe, maybe ten inches, seven, six, seven inches, something like that. I'm wow. Not sure. Wow. Have you but been it's, outside it's or? Odd. Have you? Uh, I'm inside right now. It's still snowing. I got about four or five yards. I got to do with a snowblower. Oh, wow. When it calmed down, because I help my neighbors out, you know, in the area. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Um, are you watching on TV or listening on the radio? Yeah, I'm watching you on TV and my man that does the weather on uh, on uh, the other channel, 14.2. Wow, Hunter. Yeah, Hunter, <laughs> Hunter, yes, yeah, yeah. He does a good job, yeah. doesn't he? Yes, he does. He does an awesome job. And yes, what did he you do? Thank you. All appreciate right. that. Well, we're going to let you go, but thank you for your support, okay? All right, and y'all be safe going back in. And you be safe, too, and watch out for that brown snow. Yeah, all right. Don't don't all hit right. that with a snowblower. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> okay. See ya. I am. Bye. It's another public safety tip. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, he was talking about you. <laughs> he watches you. Well, that's all good right. to know too. All and, right. And I know like a lot of people have been asking, like, yeah, like this kind of snow is definitely very, very hard to try and get a measurement and stuff like that. Just if you're going to try and measure, try to get into the area that's not really hit by wind and not on a grassy surface either. You right. want to fold like on a deck or a picnic table or, or something like that. Okay. And um, how do you like being so popular? Yeah, it has its ups and downs. I mean, hundreds <laughs> of thousands of people have probably viewed you or at least you've had hundreds of thousands of views by now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, this month in particular has been really, really busy on my end, especially on, like, the social media platforms. We've been about over a half a million really? reach for this month, yeah. Wow. So it's been, it's been a very busy month for sure, but it looks like February we're going to be calming down now, finally. So this, this Oh, may, you think February is going to be better? This may be probably the last 
bigger snow that we'll man, see. Man, that year. suits me. It's been every weekend, it's been a mess, you know. Mm-hmm. Wow. So if I'm going to really get rid of snow shovels, I got to push them now, right? <laughs> get it? Push them now. Yeah, push them now. Well, All at right. least this snow is a lot easier to shovel compared to earlier in the month. It's or it doesn't weigh like 15 ton. This is right. a very fluffy dry snow that just blows around. But we're still going to be looking at some blizzard like conditions going into the rest of the overnight hours. And make sure um, take care of you know any outdoor pets. Oh like that, yeah. They don't want to be in this. And two that to kind of help for frozen pipes tonight. Right. This leave your faucet on a drip or yeah. open up the bottom underneath your sink just in case because it's going to get very cold tonight once everything starts settling out the winds will start calming down and that temperature is really going to plummet with all the snowpack that we have okay hunter thank you very much okay no problem all right see ya all right we're done we're done so i'll see y'all everybody god bless you take care thank you and uh we'll see you next saturday bye all right we're still with you on tv del marva everybody so i do want to encourage you tell somebody this week okay if you're watching tv del marva and you like tv del marva Please spread the word, okay? And uh, send them a word of encouragement, too, if you would, you know, on Facebook or something like that. So um, how many did you say? Five seconds left? All right, everybody. God bless you. Be safe. Be careful. And uh, stay home. And goodbye.